Alrighty. Hello everyone. It is Shibby Rob here. And we are here today for a live coin and a little bit of currency auction. What's this doing up? That's too high. Let's get that. There we go. Okay, so I would like to take a minute to say hello to everyone that's here. You guys are awesome, awesome people. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Coin Junkie AG, Old Bell. Hey, Old Bell. Uh, Silver Soldier of Fortune. How's it going? John McGuffin. Hi, John. Uh, John, I did see your email. Um, if you'd like to bid on something uh, today, go ahead and bid, and we will get it figured out, no problem. Uh, Siren Silverstash, hey Siren, um, let's see, Darren Allen is here, Andrew Cooper is here, the rabbit, the other Jimmy, hey the other Jimmy, how's it going, Sublime Mad Dog, uh, I saw Carl's Coins is here, Mpan, hey Mpan, the Lucky James Eller, hey the Lucky James Eller, how's it going, awesome, 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 Tiffany Twisted, hey Tiffany, Lady Kid Nichols, hi Lady Kid Nichols, Coin Silver, DC Bingo. Thank you guys all so very, very much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hey Ink Man, how's it going? Hi Silver Keys. Silver Keys, how are you? Alrighty guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is we have a end of stream donator giveaway. Why is my chat below the picture screen and not beside it? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean? <clears throat> I'm afraid I don't know. Okay, uh, the first thing we got to do is we got to do an end of stream giveaway for the donators from yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I... Uh, didn't have time to make up the wheel of names for the end of stream for the donators. Um, so we're going to do that right now. Let me make a card here. So this is going to be the end of stream donator giveaway. And this is going to be a Bicentennial Silver Uncirculated set. Um... It's the three-piece uncirculated set. Oh, that one's got a smudge in it. We'll find a different one. But it's the uh, Kennedy Half Dollar, the um, Eisenhower Dollar, and the uh, Drummer Boy Quarter, all are 40% silver. Let me find one that's not smudged. There we go. That's better. So this is going to be the set. This is for the donators, people that donated for the coin roll hunt yesterday. Um, didn't get a chance to do it, but we're going to do it right now. So what I am going to do is I'm going to bring this up on the screen. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. And I have put in uh, everybody's name. The people that donated for more got their name in more often. Everybody's name is in there. I shuffled them all up and we're going to go ahead and pick a winner. So this is for the donator for yesterday's coin roll hunt. Good luck to everybody. Here we go. The winner is... CM Silver. CM Silver is the winner. Congratulations to CM Silver. That one's going to go out to you. Do -do -do -do. CM Silver donated for a half box yesterday, one of the half box donators. So, congratulations to CM Silver. Does the screen look dark to you guys for some reason today? Hmm. It's plenty of light. Interesting. Anyhow, there we go. That is for CM Silver is the winner. That's for yesterday's donator giveaway. And that is taken care of and out of the way. I wonder if... Let me do this real quick. This may look a little weird, but I'm going to just uh, 
wipe the lens of the camera. See if that helps. Maybe a little bit. Okay. Do 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 do. So, Donut of Doom. Oh no. <laughs> Andrew Cooper, I'm afraid that happens. Their name is in more often. Um, let's see. I am not showing any problems on my end. It looks like the connection is fine. It looks like everything is running as normal. Um, so hopefully um, there's not any major problems. So, okay, so anyhow, hey, Nicola Tobbies, how's it going? New England Notes, how are you doing? Uh, Just W, hey, Just W. Um, I'm going to really quickly go through the rules of the auction, guys. Uh, you must be... Oh. Guys, if you're, if, if you're joking around, let's wait till a little bit later to be joking around. Um, if you're really having issues, please keep letting me know. Because uh, I'm a little concerned. I see everything seems to be working on my end, but I'm getting a lot of people mentioning problems. Okay, so um, the rules for the auction today, you must be 18 years of age in order to bid in this auction. If you're not 18 years of age, you're more than welcome to watch and enjoy and check out the coins but please don't bid in the auction um you if you have a u.s address and a well that's okay ssf i i really want to know if there is a problem um if you have a u.s address and a paypal then you are good to bid in this uh, auction if you do not have those two things shoot me an email um, if you're outside of the U.S., we can work out as long as you're willing to pay extra shipping. If you are don't have a PayPal, I do have some other payment options available. I will be sending invoices at the end of today's auction to all of the high bidders, so there's no need to send a PayPal. Just wait for your auction to come. If you are new with the stream and you haven't bid before or been in the coin roll hunt before, please shoot me an email at shibirob at gmail.com. That email is in the description of this uh, video. And uh, I will know what address to send your invoice to. You can pay the invoices with PayPal or I think you can use most major credit cards. Okay. Hey, Party Pickle. I would like uh, to make sure that we remain friendly in here. Uh, everybody, please be respectful to me, the moderators, and to each other. Please try to refrain from making comments that would in, uh, influence other bidders, whether they should bid or not. Uh, this is an auction. We all know how auctions work, so let's uh, stick to that. Um, if there are any questions before we get started, I'd be happy to answer them. So if there's any questions, please let me know now if not we'll get started with this auction um and uh ssf hopefully your uh connection is working better hopefully things are okay i am upstairs on my computer and i keep getting the circle of death switching the phone okay I, it looks like everything is fine here, but if people are really having problems, please do tell me and I'll see if I, there's something I can do to fix it. Uh, his and hers, how's it going? Hey, Sir Benji, Greg Lee, how are you? Uh, everybody ready for an auction? Can you please put Lady Kid Nichols in a timeout? Is she being bad? <laughs> to break the rule... Everyone purchase. Hey, thank you. <laughs> do, 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 do. Alrighty, guys. So we are going to get Larry Powell's getting the circle too. Man, I don't think I changed anything. 
Well, anyhow, we're going to get started with this auction. We'll try to get things figured out as we go. This is lot number one. It is a pair of nickels. The nickels are, this is an 1897 V nickel and a 1936 Indian nickel. I'm going to show you this one first. Uh, these are dark and uh, not particularly attractive, but they're uh, some pretty cool things. So here we go. This is the V nickel. Again, as you guys can see, it's dark, but it's an 1897. It's got a full Liberty, lots of detail. And then there's the reverse. And then along with that, we have a 1936 Buffalo nickel. Similar, very dark, but lots of detail. Pretty cool. And I believe our current high bid is $4. $4 to his and hers. Uh, one other thing that I didn't mention, guys, you can raise the bid in 50 cent increments up to $15. Uh, once we get to $15, raising bids in $1 increments only, please. Do, 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 do. Could be the weather. Yeah, it is cold here. It is very cold here. Um, we're not having any wind or snow issues right now, though. So, $4 is the current high bid. His and hers coins is at $4. John McGuffin at 5 John's at five dollars. His and hers coins is five fifty. Do, 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 do. So, hopefully everything is working all right. I'm gonna keep an eye on the connection, and uh, I'm checking out uh, the the settings and everything as we go. Hopefully everything will work fine. It may possibly been um, a little bit because I had the other browser running because that's what I had the wheel on. And sometimes that other browser causes a little bit of mischief. So maybe that'll help. Uh, we got John McGuffin at $6. John is at $6. Do, do, do. Uh, thank you, his and hers. His and hers is out. I appreciate you, my friend. Coyote Whacker. Hey, Coyote Whacker. How's it going? AZ Coins. How are you today? AZ Coins. Thank you for being here. I picked out uh, for Silver Keys a little uh, present for being so wonderful and helping with our auction. Uh, quite often and so I sent a little something extra to Silver Keys and I hope that you enjoy it also I want to show you guys something weird but I'll wait till the end of this uh, item before I show you guys that I had like uh, seven or eight maybe seven rolls left over you're welcome Silver Keys uh, I had a few rolls left over after the coin roll hunt yesterday, and so I decided to open them and get everything ready to return the coins to the bank, and I found something weird in one of the rolls. John McGuffin at $7.50. $7.50 to John McGuffin. Going once. Should we still haven't received my auction win? It was a roll of steel cents. Hmm. You definitely should not have. Let me uh, let me look into that. That should definitely have been here, but there a long time ago. Do, 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 do. 
do 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 Going twice. Do 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 do. John is at seven dollars and fifty cents. Seven dollars and fifty cents to John McGuffin. Okay, so let's see. Um, easy coins. That the last package that I mailed to you was uh delivered on the thirty first of December. It was a, a small box. Uh, flat rate box and your roll of coins should have been in there with the other things do, 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 do. sold 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 that one's going to John McGuffin for seven dollars and fifty cents congratulations John seven dollars and fifty cents that one is going to you Um, so holding on to some items for me with this new format, do you send a collected items at the end of your month or continue? When, when you, uh, requested that I hold it, I put a date that is 30 days after that on the envelope. And if I don't hear anything other than that, I'll send it out after that. That's what, the way that I usually handle it, party pickle. Congratulations to John. Um... Hey, you're very welcome, Christina Mirabella. Okay, guys, I'm going to get this up for uh, auction. This is uh, lot number two. It's a 1913 Barber Dime. We'll get this underneath the scope so you can see what it is. It's a 1913 Barber Dime. Starting bid's going to be $1. This one, guys, as you can see, it's got most of Liberty, lots of detail, Nice little barber dime. A little bit dark on the back, but still plenty of detail. And we got a bid. Misses his and hers coins at three dollars. <clears throat> um okay, so then the next thing that I need to check for AZ coins is your invoices. Then we got SSF at $7. It was only one roll shibby. Yeah, but didn't you order a few other things during the same auction? Let me go in and look at the invoices and then I'll know what I'm looking at here. Or was it from a different auction? Because I... Well, I'll I'll be able to see with the invoices. Give me a sec. Um, I may have goofed something up, but we'll find out in just a minute here. Okay.
You you sent fifteen dollars in an auction. I I always invoice at my auctions. Easy coins. Um. Yeah, the last thing I see is from December fourteenth. Okay, so well, let me try this. I'm going to go into my other PayPal and check for payments that got sent to me. So I can close that one out. And then move over here. Oh, no, no. No one's upset with you, John. Don't worry. ICERC is at $10. $10 is the high bid. This is a 1913 Barber Dime. Yeah, John, that's okay. Don't worry about it, bud. Alright, that's not... Let me check this. Going twice. We are going twice. Um... Shoot, that's that might be why there. Do do last call, last call, everybody. Okay. Um, sold, 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 sold. This one is going to iCirc for ten dollars. Okay, congratulations to iCirc. Oh, yeah, I'll show you the weird thing in just a sec. Okay, first off, um, Easy Coins. I just looked up, and the last payment I have f to my regular pay mail, something that you've sent me, was uh, July of 2020. Uh, nothing after July. Um, on my other PayPal, um, the last was the stuff that I sold that arrived in that bag on the 21st. So I am kind of confused. If you could uh, try to find uh, like a date and where that payment was sent and uh, help me out because I want to make sure if you got if you paid for something that you get it, but I, I can't find the information. So, easy coins if you could um, email me and we'll get it sorted out. We'll, f we'll figure it out. 
Adam Jam, how's it going? Icerk, by the way, thank you for being here. I appreciate you very much. Sorry, guys, I've missed a lot of the chat. I promise that I wouldn't ignore anybody. So if I missed anything that you guys need me to say, go ahead and say it again. I will uh, keep a better eye on the chat starting right now. Hey, the pizza guy, how's it going? Nice to see you. They still have not graded our coins. It makes me want to cry. Okay, next up, guys, we have lot number three. This is a silver certificate star note. It is a series of 1957A. Serial number star 51558960. Starting bids a dollar. Okay, so let's see. And I Cirque says 11. SSF at 12. Patriot Stacker. Hey, Pat Patriot Stacker. How's it going? Thanks for being in here. Okay. Oh, I forgot the weird coin again. Jeez, Louise. It's not really a coin, oddly enough, but it's a weird thing that I found in a roll yesterday. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. I know the feeling. <laughs> we got his and hers coins is at $19. $19 on the silver certificate star note is a series 1957A. Serial number star 5155. 8960 $19 to his and hers coins. Hey Aaron Kraus, how's it going? Uh John McGuffin, yeah, it will be um four dollars for shipping. Um, but I have a gift for you that's going with that as well. Um, so it'll be $11.50 total, but I'm also going to be sending you one of those currency albums. It's empty, but you can put your currency in there. So $11.50 will be your total, John, and I'll send you your, your nickels and your album. Party pickle, you think so? Could be. <laughs> bum ba dum bum bum bum. Bing. We are going twice. His and hers coins has the high bid. We are going twice. SSF said he was way, way out. But then he comes in at 20 with a little snipey, snipey. <laughs> John McGuffin, okay. No problem, bud. SSF is at 20. Hey, clever. How's it going? His and hers coins at 23. His and hers coins is not playing games. $23 is the current bid to his and hers coins. <clears throat> so, all right. Well, I guess I can show you what I found in a roll. So I found this in a roll. I'm going to put it under the microscope. And at first glance, I almost peed my pants because I thought it was something really awesome. So I found this in a coin roll. But it's, it's plastic. And it, it appears to be like a chip. For like some kind of board game or something like that. 
But when I'm searching the roll, the edge looks like a coin. And then when I see this, I'm like, oh my god, what do I got? What do I got? I thought I had pirate treasure. But it's plastic, so it looks like it's a chip for a board game or something. Because it's plastic. <laughs> or checkers, yeah, it could be for, for checkers. Uh, that, was, that was pretty weird. Found it in a coin roll. I only had, like I said, I think there were seven rolls left over uh, when I finished the coin roll hunt yesterday. But I also found a 90% Kennedy. <laughs> Only seven rolls and I got a 64 Kennedy and a weird chip thing. Holy moly. So thanks for leaving me those guys ro our rolls, guys. <laughs> do that's cool except you got stiffed for the 50 cents that's exactly ink man but then i got that 64 kennedy so <laughs> i'm ahead of the game <laughs> do, 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 do. all right we are at 23 dollars last call and sold 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 this one's going to his and hers was it Who's bidding? His and hers or Mrs. His and hers? I think it was his and hers. Yeah, his and hers coins. And at $23. $23. Congratulations. Alrighty. So next up, guys, we got lot number four. This is a another interesting thing. I'm not really being a bridesmaid. Jeez, guys. So this is from uh, down here on this thing. It says Canadis, Canadisis Scientifica and Numismatica. I think it's a numismatic association in Canada. It's a, a commemorative of silver dollars, and it shows the different silver dollars from 1908 to 1968. Um, this thing is 100% nickel, according to everything I could find on the internet. Interestingly, um, when you put it on a Sigma Analytics at 999 silver, it tests within the boundaries. It doesn't test perfectly, but it tests within the boundaries. But it's not silver, it's nickel. So I'll show you guys this one under the... microscope and we got a current high bid of $16 to DC bingo does it sound like silver um, well let me see a little I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's nickel, though, guys. And I don't want anyone uh, upset that they bought something they thought was silver and it turns out to be nickel. Now, if you, you think it's nickel and it turns out to be silver, then great. No problem. I am happy for you. But I don't want anyone thinking it's silver and then it turns out to be nickel. So it says Canadensis Scientia Numismatica. It's got the different designs, commemorative dollars from Canada. And then on the back, this is the 60 years of numismatics. Um, honoring 60 years of numismatics excellence. And it's got, I think, a picture of the Canadian mint. And a nice fingerprint, which I may have just put on there. I hope not. <clears throat> Anyhow, um, 
make sure that you guys are happy with your bids if you would like to retract. Uh, but I think 20 is our bid to DC Bingo. And now I will attempt to keep up with the chat. There's a lot of chat today, guys. It's uh, we're, Keep in mind, there's only one of me. I'll do the best I can. <laughs> uh, let's see. Aaron Krause says, can I have my game token back? Oh, that was yours? <laughs> um... Inkman says, dang Canadians, bunch of jokers, right? That makes, I agree. Um, would you say that most jewelry stores have a Sigma machine? Um, jewelry stores usually have other testing methods. The Sigma is going to be more for coins. So the Sigma is more for if you have uh, like a, a coin shop or... Um, like a pawn shop or a silver and gold exchange uh, that, that deals with a lot of coins. Is it magnetic? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is not magnetic. I'm pretty sure I already checked that. I have a magnet right here. And uh, no, not magnetic. It's listed as nickel on Numista. Right. And there was somewhere else that I saw that it was listed in, as nickel. Um, but I think nickel is non-magnetic also, so that wouldn't solve that problem. Uh, souvenir token, right? Um, somebody said something about emailing me. I'll take a peek. said that maybe they were talking to someone else if someone was saying they just emailed me I didn't get an email uh, currently on the auction block stack deck this is a token from the Canada Numismatics. Um, it is made of nickel, I believe. Uh, not silver, I believe. It is uh, commemorating the silver dollars of Canada. Um, it's a pretty cool token. And our current bid is $22 to DC Bingo. We are going once. Canada, eh? Okay. All right. Take a deep breath, Shibby. <laughs> I think we're okay here. I think I'm pretty much caught up. <clears throat> Weird to commemorate silver with nickel. Agreed. Uh, there is a... Uh, we're, I think we're all in agreement. Canada is weird. <laughs> Sorry, coin junkie. <laughs> Who won the donation giveaway? The winner for the donators was CM Silver. His and hers coins. I did the, uh, that uh, wheel spin. I put everybody's name on uh, the wheel of names. You got... Uh, amount of entries based on your donations and uh, the winner was CM Silver. Last call everybody. Oh, camera's out of focus. That does happen because this camera does not like me too much. Do -do -do -do. I lived in Canada for years, and it's all just a tiny bit off. <laughs> That's funny. Last call, everybody. 
And I am in top chat. That might be part of my problem, guys. Let me get into live chat. Actually, let me refresh the chat, and then we'll get into live chat. There we go. That should help. Do, 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 do. Can you give the buck to Silver Soldier a fortune? I sure don't know how to fill in a book. Thank you. Uh, John, I, uh, I will, I'm, I'm sending one to SSF. Um, I'll email you after the stream, bud. We are sold, 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 sold. This one's going to DC Bingo for $22. Congratulations, BC, DC Bingo. Very cool token. That one's going to you. Let me do a little bit of paperwork here. Congratulations. Okay. You are very welcome. Thank you, DC. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. You're welcome, John. Okay, so here we go, guys. Next up, we have lot number five. Lot number five is a sterling silver pin. This is the pin. It is just a, a kind of a simple pin. Three flowers. It's sterling silver. It is marked sterling. W-R-E. Uh, W-R-E on the back. Um, it's eight and a half grams. The starting bid was a dollar. If anybody's interested, one dollar. I'm not sure what melt value would be, but that's like quarter ounce. So like, uh, probably about six fifty or seven dollars worth of silver there. One dollar is the starting bid, guys. You can get it for a dollar. All you got to do is bid if anybody's interested. Do, 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 do. Can you show it again? Absolutely. Do, 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 do. This is the pin. And it, uh, there's the back. It's like a, you know, a stick pin. It's got a, the little clasp. And right here it says Sterling W-R-E. And we have M-Pan was in first at a dollar. Um, I will call this one down myself. M-Pan at one dollar. One dollar is the current bid. We'll give you guys a minute to think about it. Right now, though, the bid is one dollar to M-Pan. Who got in first? Remember, guys, you can raise the bid by 50 cent increments if you want. <clears throat> and keep in mind, this is 8.5 grams, somewhere around, pardon me, $6 in melt value. Andrew Cooper is at two. $2 is the current high bid. $2 to Andrew Cooper. Silver Keys is out. Silver Keys, thank you for your bid. Appreciate you. So, Andrew Cooper at $2. I'll give you guys a minute. M Pan is at $3. $3 is the current bid. $3 to M Pan 72. Bum, bum. M Pan 72 is at three dollars. His and hers it says four. Four dollars is the current high bid. Four dollars is the current high bid to his and hers coins. M Pan comes in at five. Do, 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 do. And his and hers at five dollars and fifty cents. Five dollars and fifty cents to his and hers. His and hers at five fifty. Andrew Cooper at six dollars and fifty cents. Six fifty to Andrew Cooper. Do, 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 
do 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 they're not sure about the pin yet I'm not sure about the pin either but I can tell you it's not magnetic I can there's a magnet right here and I can neither the clasp the pin itself or the pin is magnetic so we have a current high bid of his and hers coins at seven dollars seven dollars to his and hers coins and pan is out and pan thank you for your bids his and hers coins at seven dollars seven dollars is the current high bid and we are going to say going once going once seven dollars is the current high bid seven dollars to his and hers coins once again guys sterling silver flower pin three simple flowers it is eight and a half grams total your personality is magnetic why thank you <laughs> do, do 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 oh that's no boy no sorry to hear that silver keys but glad you got back in uh, his and hers coins is at seven dollars seven dollars is the current high bid and we are going to say going twice Going twice at seven dollars, his and hers coins. If there are no other bidders, we're gonna say last call, last call, everybody, and final warning. Last call and final warning. His and hers coins is at seven dollars. Seven dollars is the current high bid to his and hers. And we are sold, 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 sold. This one's going to his and hers for $7. Congratulations, his and hers. Should be right around melt. Um, congratulations, his and hers coins. That one is going to you. Alrighty, next up, guys. And well, you'll have to bear with me. I don't have coins from this or cards from this point, so I'll have to make them up as I go. Okay. Okay, next up, guys, we have lot number six. And this is a coal dollar. Lot number six is a coal dollar. Uh, starting bid on this one, guys, is going to be $30. And I will show you what we got here. Uh, this is the coin that says this is a coal dollar. It was stickered. It is on a 1921 Morgan silver dollar. And I have this information that I got from the in internet. Uh, this is a coal dollar. This sticker reads, this is a coal dollar. You'll find these stickers on both Peace and Morgan dollars. They come up from at auction from time to time, so holding out for a nice sticker is an option. Uh, keep it, I will let you guys know or show you guys that compared to the other ones that I've seen, this sticker is in very, very good shape. Um, seen about five or more show, out, show up at auction. While these do not have a pretty image, they are still rather collectible. My guess is that fewer uh, than 200 of these coins are still around, though that is just a guess. The coin is from the 1950s, was uh, the Jonesville Coal Company, located... 30 miles outside of Wasilla, Alaska. I think that's Alaska. AK is Alaska, right? Uh, the Jonesville Coin Company paid their employees with these silver dollars. The company wanted to show the surrounding communities just how much the community our company meant to the local economy. For several weeks, the surrounding communities were inundated with these coins. Um, this is a pretty cool... Uh, stickered coin there is a uh, collectability for this uh, these stickered coins and as I said before the sticker on this one is in really nice condition uh, compared to most that you'll see they have little pieces missing or 
the quite worn even the colors a little better than most so this is a nice one and current high bid is clever coin name at 35 dollars and yes ak is alaska thank you silver keys uh, wasilla alaska is where far north coins is from wow that's pretty cool i wonder if he knows about the uh coal dollars i'm sure he must very cool, very cool. Hey, Marley and T, how's it going? Patriot Stacker at $36. Clever coin name at 37 Clever at, with a bid of $37. And uh, this is just something that I printed off the internet because I thought it was pretty cool but I'll send that along with the dollar to whoever the winner is and we have clever coin name at $37 $37 is the current high bid alrighty 43 people in here and 34 likes very cool thank you guys for being here appreciate you very much those other nine people who haven't liked the uh, stream, let me know what I can do to make you like it. <laughs> I could sing. Party Pickle wants me to sing. <laughs> not really. I'm not really going to sing. I am tone deaf, and all that would do is make people hit that dislike button. <clears throat> so <laughs> Clever says do it <laughs> Sing do it <laughs> Brian T says I can sing Very cool Unfortunately that was a, not a uh, skill That I was blessed with I wish I, 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 wish I could sing Do 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 <laughs> Okay, no problem, guys. I, I'm just, I'm just yanking your chains a little bit. Don't worry. Patriot Stacker at thirty-eight. Tell jokes, um, John. Most of my jokes are not suitable for a family-oriented uh, stream. <laughs> I actually, I don't know all, that many good jokes, so not too much of a joke teller. Do, do, do keep your hands off my chain okay will do <laughs> yes we uh, <laughs> we try to keep it PG 13 anyhow <laughs> when you have party pickle around you know you can't help the cl the occasional dong reference <laughs> but we do try to keep it occasionally or for the most part not occasionally for the most part we try to keep it clean in here there are a few younger folks who watch when is the navy pin coming up um i don't know when do i have that on the list one second Um, number 12 so this is lot 6 that's going to be number 12 so uh, it's going to be a little bit yet party pickle that's that's real life that's real life party pickle <laughs> <laughs> John, you got to be careful about that snoring. If it gets too bad, you got to see a doctor. That can be dangerous, especially when you get into your later years. 
I know a joke about predicting the future. Ever, evidently, everyone thought it was lame. <laughs> Super garbage, man. Nice. <clears throat> Patriot Stackers at $41. $41 is the current high bid. 41 also it happens to be the amount of likes that I'm seeing now. So thank you guys for that. Clever Coin Name at 43 $43 is the current high bid. Clever coin name at 43 on the This is a Coal Dollar. Do, 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 do. Have you any thoughts on the game next Sunday? Um, a couple. My first thought is I wish that it was different teams, um, but it's not. But I'll watch it anyhow because I love football. Um... I, 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 if anybody is wanting betting advice, <laughs> not that I condone any kind of illegal gambling, of course, but, uh, Kansas City is going to be tough to beat, even though it'll be in Tampa. And even though I definitely do not care for Kansas City. <laughs> Nice, Party Pickle. Uh, let's see. Patriot Stacker at 46. MPAN is at 48. I, I haven't seen the spread, Party Pickle, so... Just uh, straight up, I, I think Kansas City would be tough to beat. Ugh. <sighs> And uh, Andy Reid is a heck of a coach, and he knows Tom Brady pretty well. So even though um, Tampa is a different team with Tom Brady, um, I, I think that uh, Mahomes and Andy Reid will be ready for him. That's just my theory. But that's what's cool about football any given Sunday, you know. So we'll see what happens. MPAN72 at $48. The over under at 56.5. Yeah, I think I'd stick with the Chiefs. And I think I'd probably play the under on that. 56.5 is pretty high. I wonder if the coal dollars can be graded for genuine. Uh, MPAN, I'm afraid I have no idea. It's possible, but I really don't know. Uh, MPAN currently has the highest bid. $48 is the current high bid, and we are going twice. MPAN72 at $48, going twice. To be perfectly honest, Party Pickle, I, I, I wouldn't, I'm not worried about the spread. I think they'll cover pretty easy. That's just my, my guess. Uh, Far, Far North Coins is 49 or what is it? Far North Coins, it's a coal dollar. It's a 1921 Morgan. It's got the sticker for the coal dollar. And uh, I printed up this information about it. It's from the Jonesville Coal Company. And uh, I I believe your neck of the woods, Wasilla, Alaska, in the 1950s. Uh, that company put these out to show the surrounding communities the effect on the community. Do, 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 do. Um, just want to make sure, though, you are intending to bid 50, 49, right? Just want to make sure we got Far North Coins at 49. And going once. Do, do, do. 
Gotcha. Thank you for an Earth Coins for your bid. Appreciate you, my friend. Uh, John, those are going to be after the break. They will be lot number 14. And by the way, guys, anybody that's interested, if you uh, look at the description of this live stream, there's a full list of all the items listed with the order that they'll come up in. Last call, everybody. Last call. Far North Coins at $49. $49 to Far North Coins. And we are sold. Sold, sold, sold. How cool is that? This coal dollar is going back home. To Far North Coins. $49. Cool history. And uh, from what I've seen far north, um, this is the pretty good condition of the sticker. The condition of the sticker means a lot. And this is a pretty, re actually a really good condition for the sticker. So congratulations on that far north. That one's going to you, $49. I will be sending out invoices. Um... At the end of the stream today, uh, Far North, if you have uh, ever bid on anything before or if I have your email, then I will just send the invoice to that email. Um, if not, uh, shibbyrob at gmail.com is my email. Shoot me a quick email and I can uh, send your invoice to whichever email you send me from. Hopefully that made sense. To far north. Okay, next up, guys, we have a bunch of proof state quarters. This is lot number seven. Um, this is, we'll just say proof state quarters. Um, starting bid on this is going to be uh, $15. $15. Now what we have here is uh, the state quarter proof sets starting in 1999 going to 2006. So it's 8 out of the 10. Um, I don't have a 2007 and a 2008 unfortunately. Um, so you'll have to find those elsewhere. But uh, it is, there are 5 quarters in each one. They are proof so it's $1.25 face value for each thing. Uh, $15 to be the starting bid. We got the other Jimmy was in first at $15. Hey, Sharkbait Lucky, how's it going? <laughs> that far north guy is sus. Shibby Rob is sus too. And Clever and Party Pickle. And Kellen L. And there's a lot of suspicious characters around here now that I think about it. <laughs> far north coins at $20. $20 is the current high bid. Lady Knickles, she's a tad suspicious. Patriot Stacker at 26 <laughs> Party Pickle agrees on all accounts. True that. Far North Coins at 27 27 is the current high bid. So our current high bid is $27, uh, which are missing, 2007 and 2008. Um, they're all in order from 99 to 2006. Um, the full series of state quarters went from 99 to 2008. <clears throat> These are red clad proofs, correct? Yes, sir, they are clad. This would be much more expensive if they were silver. <laughs> but yes, they are clad. Do, do, do. See Clever's previous comment. Do I have to? Alright, let's see what he said. Is 
just wanted to everyone in Next Friday is my birthday, and I'll be doing a live stream giveaway, an announcement video to post it later today. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm glad I checked that one out. Happy birthday in advance, clever. That is awesome. I'm super happy to hear that, and we'll check it out for sure. Uh, Sir Benji in at 28. $28 to Sir Benji. Just W says 30 Super happy to hear that I have a birthday. I'm super happy that you're doing a stream about it. And uh, there's videos coming. I'm, I mean, I'm glad you're having it. You're making it to your birthday. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Do, do. Just W is at $30. Did I cover up my weirdness pretty well there? I tried to. <laughs> $30 is the current high bid. Just W is at $30. $30 to Just W. And we are going once. Sir Benji is out. Sir Benji, thank you for your bids. Appreciate you, my friend. And then... No end then. You can't be trusted to work those things. <laughs> no, nothing with a cord for poor, <laughs> poor clever coin name. Oh, boy. There's a number, another member of this community who is... Birthday is in two weeks. I I like sneaky information. Email me. And then... Last call, everybody. $30 is the current high bid. $30 to Just W. I think, I'm pretty sure Just W at $30. And we are on last call. Final warning. And then... No end then. Sold. Sold, sold, sold. This set is going to Just W for $30. Congratulations. Oops. See, I always do that. Now i got to make another ticket. Okay. Just W, $30. Congratulations, Just W. Uh, those eight sets are going to you. Thirty dollars. Uh, just W. Um, I'm. I'll have to weigh them, but just so that you're like, uh, you know, in advance. Um, it's probably going to be a little higher shipping. I'm probably going to have to do a flat rate. Okay, so <laughs> lot number eight. Dang it, I forgot to fix the date on this one. This is an 1846 U.S. large scent. It is listed on the description as a 1946, and I forgot to fix it on this one. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, it's listed on there as a 1940. Oh, my goodness. Okay. No, it's not. Nobody saw that. 1846 large scent. Starting bid, $10. Oi. I mix up the 1800s and the 1900s quite a lot, guys. Quite a lot. Yeah, Just W, I definitely will uh, get it the cheapest way that I can. Um, I'll take a few minutes and uh, check everything out um, before I send you a invoice. Alrighty, current high bid, M Pan, 72 at $12. $12, this is an 1846 United States large scent. The eighteen ninety, right? That's right, clever coin name. That's right. <laughs> Covering up my weirdness, right? 
<sighs> yes, I'll I'll scope it. We'll get it into the scope. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. 1846 U.S. large cent. The old largey. Uh... Small date, large date, no idea. Uh, current high bid is $13. MPAN is at $13. Far North Coin at $14. Far North Coins is at $14. MPAN is, is out. Shark Bait Lucky in at $15. Far North Coins at 16. Um, I would say that's a reasonable possibility, Aaron Krause. I, uh, I haven't done any uh, research on this. Um, I actually picked up a couple large cents on Friday. And one of them went into the auction today. So, and here it is. Far North Coins with the current high bid, $16. So we got some cool stuff coming up, guys. I hope I pick things out that you guys will enjoy. I hope everybody gets some good prices. And I hope we all have some fun. That is the main objective. $17 is the current high bid. Coyote Whacker. Is your mom watching today? I don't know. It's certainly possible. I, I always tell her, like, I'm sure there's m more interesting things than me for her to watch. Uh, she's not really into coins. But, uh... <laughs> She watches. Must be she finds her awesome kid, that's me, interesting. <laughs> Who knows why. Super Garbage Man at 24. <clears throat> Super Garbage Man jumps in at $24. If you're watching, hi, Shibby's mom. It's a nice real ruler. There might be a Matlock marathon going on. She watches some old stuff. I she was watching the Love Boat the other day. <laughs> I ended up watching it too. It was funny. It was interesting. Uh, those old shows. I I used to love those shows when I was a kid, but. She was watching the love boat. <laughs> Real ruler. It's me. I'm the I'm the awesome kid. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I ever saw the love boat. The love boat. Something and something of something more. The love boat. Do do do. But on bum bum, but on bum bum. I sent an email. I will check that out. New England notes. I don't know. It's the theme song for the show, though. Do 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 do. Far North Coins is at 
$28 is the current high of bid, and I'll check my email really quickly. Jack Jones. You know why he's saying it? I do not. Okay. Yep, no problem, James Eller. No problemo. Coyote Whacker is at 29. So you wouldn't have to? Oh, oh I knew that was coming. It's Party Pickle's fault. He wanted me to sing. <laughs> Oh boy. Ouch. <laughs> Super Garbage Man's at 30. $30 is the current high bid. Super Garbage Man is at 30. <laughs> uh, you singing soothes my soul, Jimmy. Party Pickle, I think you're the only one. <laughs> Oh boy, I I know I'm toad deaf. I know. <laughs> do, do 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 Jack Jones, huh? Did Jack Jones really sing it, or did he make that up? <laughs> Special hatred for the Waltons and Night John Boy. <laughs> Little House on the Prairie. I I did not care for the Waltons. Um, Little House on the Prairie was hit or miss. Some episodes were interesting, some were not. I usually liked the, the episodes of Little House on the Prairie when that little blonde Nelly girl was being, uh, uh, exceptionally mean. <laughs> I always thought that was funny. I don't know why. Did you like to watch Bonanza? Yeah, I watched Bonanza. Not a lot, though. Um, interestingly, westerns were really not my thing. I watched them, but not too often. Coyote Whacker is at 31. $31 to Coyote Whacker. Going once. Coyote Whacker at $31. Going once. Going once. <clears throat> -bum -bum. She, I, I also watched an episode the other day of Dennis the Menace. interesting the tv writing back in the day type that enjoyed the a-team magnum pi macgyver yeser chips i liked chips with the motorcycle cops um the a-team was one of my favorites going twice going twice last call $31 to Coyote Whacker is the current high bid. Last call, everybody. Airwolf. Um, I, I feel like I, I did. It was about a helicopter, right? Helicopter fighters or something. I, I feel like I've watched it, but I'm not remembering it immediately. <clears throat> and we are... Sold, 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 sold. This one's going to Coyote Whacker. That $31. Congratulations to Coyote Whacker. We'll get that out from there. And we'll move that over to there. Uh, 
Alrighty, next up, guys, we have lot number nine. Lot number nine is this is a interest uh, coupon or certificate off of a Confederate war bond. Um, it says, let me read the whole thing. Uh, loan under Section 6 of the Art Act of February 17, 1864, the Confederate States of America will pay to the bearer $30 for six months' interest due July 1891. So what this was, guys, was on a $1,000 war bond, if somebody bought that, there would be a large piece of paper. And there would be the bond up at the top, and then at the bottom there would be all these interest certificates, and you could turn them in and get your interest uh, every six months. Uh, this is one of those. That is from bond number 7143, uh, Confederate War Bond. It's in spectacular condition, starting bid $10. Knight Rider was one of my favorites, too. Okay, we got MPAN 72 at 10, DC Bingo at 20. $20, MPAN 72 at 21. I, I'm sure that I've missed a few things. I'm going to go back and check the um, chat in just a second, guys. Alrighty, we got MPAN 72 at $23. MPAN at 23 Signed by Tyler. Yes. It looks like R-O or R-D Tyler. But Tyler is definitely the, the last name. Okay. MPAN is out. DC Bingo is at 24. Thank you, DC. Let me check and make sure I didn't miss anything. TV stuff. Mission Impossible. Oh, yeah, that's a little before my time, Adam Jam. Yeah, that definitely rings a bell, Party Pickle. I definitely think I did watch that show at least some. Okay, so $24 is son of our 10th president. Interesting. Very cool. Um, $24 is the current high bid to DC Bingo. DC Bingo is at $24. And we are going once. going twice. Tyler lives two houses down. He used to mow my lawn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All Tyler sounds like a good kid mowing the lawn. That's good. Last call. Last call, everybody. $24 is the current high bid. DC bingos at 24 And then... Unless he did a terrible job mowing. True. Very true. Very, very true. Super Garbage Man, that is pretty cool. I actually have one more of these that I decided to keep for myself, so that's awesome. Glad to know that. Did I miss the sold? Nope, we're still at last call. 
And then sold, 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 sold. This one is going to DC Bingo for $24. Congratulations, DC Bingo. Awesome, awesome. And this will go to DC Bingo. $24. Congratulations. Okay. Next up, we have... This is pretty awesome. Uh, this is a PCGS graded MS-63 1926S piece dollar. Uh, this piece dollar is in an older green label uh, PCGS holder but it is PCGS graded MS 63 it's a 1926 S and I have to start this one guys at a hundred dollars if anybody is interested a hundred dollars is where it would have to go um, so we'll see if anyone is interested. Um, this one I think um, is very easily the MS twenty or sixty three, and could very well be undergraded, as PCGS was known for with these older green holders. But if anybody's interested in this one. I can't take a chance of it going any lower, so $100 would have to be the starting bid. We'll give you guys uh, a couple minutes if anybody needs to do any research, any looking into it. Um... This is actually, $100 is a good deal on this coin, in my opinion. We have Far North Coins at $100. I, uh, yeah, we won't say any more for now. $100 would be the starting, or uh, the bid, Far North Coins is at $100. We will give you guys a couple minutes to make decisions. But uh, Adam Jam, it's a fair price if it was in a regular holder. I, th I think it would be a good price in a regular. Not great, but good. But in, when, in that green holder, they easily go for eBay at a pretty significant premium. So I, I think 100 a pretty good price. That's just me, though. Just my opinion. Uh, have you checked for VAMs? I have not. I haven't checked for VAMs on any of the... Um, set that I acquired. $100 is the current high bid Far North Coins. $100 to Far North Coins. Working. The problem, I didn't include the milliseconds when I wrote the subtitle file. Ah. It's a <laughs> it's a horrible price. It's way overpriced. Just say sold. <laughs> well, we do have to go through the process. There are some technicalities. Uh, but we will uh, count, count this one down. We're going once. $100 is the current high bid. This is the 1926S uh, piece dollar. It's graded MS63 by PCGS. It is in an older green holder. It is a beauty of a coin. $100 is the bid. And uh, we're going once. Kellen L., how's it going? President Tyler has a grandson who is still living. No kidding. That's awesome. Papa Frank Guido. At 110. Papa Frank Guido says he would like to check it out. 110. 
do 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 bottom bum bum smells Brian Smiles in the house Brian Smiles is in the house hey Brian Smiles how's it going nice to see you we've got Papa Frank Guido at 110 Pop, Papa Frank comes in at 110 What does VAM mean in present context? Uh, there's uh, like the uh, the Morgan varieties. They um, there's VAMs for all Morgan varieties. Uh, the Peace Dollars have VAMs as well. Going once, one hundred and ten dollars to Papa Frank Guido. Going once. Um, the Comprehensive Catalog and Encyclopedia of Morgan and Peace Dollars by Leroy C. Van Allen and G. A. George Malice. Van Allen and Malice. Thank you, Silver Keys. I didn't. I didn't know all that myself. That's good info. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. Nicolette's Hobbies, thanks for being in here. Appreciate you. Have an awesome night. These two researchers notice the differences between coins. Very interesting. <laughs> Trying to make sense of the initials. Yeah. Well, I guess I probably should have had a guess. Because I know that, like, a lot of times, uh, certain numbers um, for varieties are... Um, have to do with the person that wrote a book about them. Like, I know there's Overton Varieties, which was the book, and then uh, about uh, Capped Bust Half Dollars. Very awesome money. <laughs> Varieties and Morgans. Uh oh. I can see that this could take a bad turn, so be careful, guys. <laughs> do, 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 do. Last call, everybody. Last call. Papa Frank Guido is at $110 on this piece dollar. It is a 1926 SMS 63 piece dollar. One hundred and ten dollars to Papa Frank Guido is the current high bid, and we are sold, 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 sold. One hundred and ten to Papa Frank Guido. Congratulations to Papa Frank Guido. That one is going to you, my friend. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, believe me, I've censored myself more than once on that. <laughs> nice, real ruler. <laughs> okay, next up, guys. I appreciate that, by the way. Lot number 11. Lot number 11 is an 1893 uh, Colombian Expo half dollar. And starting bid on this one's going to be $10, guys. $10 is the starting bid. We'll get this under the scope so you guys can check it out. 
Ten dollars is the starting bid. Volume almost maxed. That makes sense. Not about coins, but it's at least three words that go together. Darren Allen in first at 10. Inkman 78 at 15. So there we go. There's the front. There's the reverse. 1893 Colombian Exposition. Uh, $17. The other Jimmy. Clever coin name at 19. 19, the clever coin name. The other Jimmy at 20. $20 is the current high bid. Darren Allen at 21. Vinny, Mikey, and V. Five Finger Louie. <laughs> it's a little bit of a stretch, but okay. <laughs> Twenty-two dollars to the other Jimmy. Do 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 do. <laughs> hey, Papa Frank! Congratulations on the peace dollar, and thanks for being in here. Do do do. -do. Clever coin name at twenty-three. Clever coin name at twenty-three dollars. Check out the email again. See what we got brewing over here now. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, thanks, real ruler. <laughs> Trying to fire up my grill and watch this. So, uh, thank you for your bids, Ink Man. Uh, we got the other Jimmy at $25, $25 to the other Jimmy. That is our current high bid. The other Jimmy at $25, going once. <laughs> it's raining so much here that many neighbors... Brought their boats to their houses. Oh no. That's a lot of rain. There was. Uh, where I live. There was a. Uh, the last time that the city flooded. Was in 72. Perhaps another time. No problem. Thanks Inkman. Uh, the there, Inkman. There will be a slabbed one. In the auction coming up on Wednesday. Just uh. A little advance notice. Uh, we are going twice. $25 to the other Jimmy. Going twice. Uh, so yeah, in 1972, the city flooded. And uh, my parents were... I was not yet born. I was born in 76. So, But my parents lived on Water Street. And Water Street was water. And they actually did uh, travel for a little while via canoe <laughs> or rowboat or something like that. So, alrighty. So we have got the other Jimmy at $25 and we are sold. Sold, sold, sold. That one's going to the other Jimmy for $25. Congratulations to the other Jimmy. The other Jimmy's birthday was yesterday. So uh, enjoying his birthday weekend. The other Jimmy, congratulations on that one. And we will move on to the next item. The next item we have is lot number 12. Lot number 12 is a sterling silver pin. It is uh, for, it says 20 years service for the Navy. So we'll say Sterling Silver Navy Pin. Uh, starting bid on this one, guys, is going to be $5. I'm going to go ahead and leave that expanded so that I can show you guys what it looks like. I have it in this little case. It's a little bit to the side. Let me get it so that we can see the whole thing there we go 
So this is Department of the Navy, 20 years service. It's a little sterling silver ring. We had the Lucky James Eller at 5, his and hers at 6. His and hers coins is at $6. $6 is the current high bid. Clever said, seems like they should have named this street differently. It was full of water, so it made sense at one point. Uh, his and hers coins at seven fifty. Seven dollars and fifty cents the current high bid to his and hers coins. Can bid in fifty cent increments up to fifteen dollars, guys. Once we get to fifteen, one dollars increments only on any items in the auction. Bum bum bum. Jams breaking in Midland, Michigan. Draining two lakes. Oh man. Holy moly. Uh, the Lucky James Eller is at $8. His and hers coins is out. His and hers coins. Thank you for your bids. We got the Lucky James Eller at $8. $8 is the current high bid. Alrighty. Frog parking only? <laughs> That's some big frogs. Yeek. Like, frogs are not scary until they're the size of cars. Then they would be scary. That's just my personal opinion. Um... So, yeah. <laughs> oh! Sniper, sniper, snack, stack deck comes in at eight fifty. We were almost sold. That one I bet Silver Keys was typing. But we have stack deck at eight fifty. Stack deck at eight dollars and fifty cents. Pew pew pew. Sorry about that, the lucky James Eller, but he did get in in time. So Stack Deck has the high bid at eight dollars and fifty cents from frog legs from a frog the size of a car. That would be a big frog leg. <laughs> Uh, the Lucky James Eller at $9. $9 is the current high bid. Stack Deck in at 10 Stack Deck is at 10 And uh, we got this item and then one more, guys. And then... Oh. Hold on one second. Sorry, guys.
Okay, apologies guys, I'm sorry about that. Uh, that was, uh, had to do with the thing with uh, my retail space. Uh, it was a call that I had to take, unfortunately. It was somebody that wasn't familiar with uh, the fact that I stream on the weekend. So I had to take it and talk for a few minutes. Very sorry about that. Um, hope that there was no inconvenience. Um, I believe we were sold. Um, sold at, um, $11. Sold at $11 to DC Bingo. Uh, that went to, for $11 to DC Bingo. Congratulations, DC. <clears throat> Very cool little pin for $11. And I have this, uh, I'll move this to the side and show you I had this little case that I put it in it's like got padding on the bottom we'll put a little bubble wrap in there to hold it in place but that's the way that it will come DC bingo congratulations on that one okay moving along lot number 13 is up next lot number 13 guys this is from 1815 it is France it is 90% gold coin. It is 20 francs. The KM number is 706.1. The aggregate gold weight 0.1867. The melt value as of last night at 1 in the morning, $345.37. Starting bid on this one, guys, $350. $350 would be the starting bid on this gold coin. If anybody is interested, let me know. All right. And we got Cyclone 13 at $350. Hey, Cyclone 13, how's it going? Uh, yes, I'll, I'll scope it in just a minute. Don't count this one down yet. Give me a second. I got to catch a couple things up, guys. One second. DC. Okay. All right. Here we go. This is the coin. It is uh, French. 1815A. Um, it will have on the reverse a mint mark. Um, there are several different versions from 1815. Uh, this is one of them. <laughs> it's 1815A. You can see the A there. There's a rooster over on the other side, 1815. It is 90% gold. Uh, the gold weight is 0.1867. KM number, if you'd like to look it up, is 706.1. The melt value, $345.37 as of last night. The current high bid is $360 to Aaron Kraus. Aaron Kraus at $360. CM Silver is at $365. Yep, that's okay, John. No problem. I read your email, and we will get that figured out. No problemo, bud. CM Silver was in first. $365 is the high bid. CM Silver at $365. I have a pencil which was owned by Shakespeare. I can't tell if it's too... <laughs> <Oy. laughs> Papa Frank Guido's got dad jokes. <laughs> I like it. Do 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 do. Ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum bum bum. No problem, John. Three hundred and sixty-five dollars. Is the current high bid once again? This is CM Silver. We'll show you guys. Really awesome little gold coin. It is 20 francs from France. 
1815. It has a rooster. We'll say rooster. <laughs> and there's the front. Do, do, do. And then I'll show you guys one more time up here in the camera. I put it in a, a different case because the other one that it was in was cracked. Um, so this is a new case. It's in pretty good shape. And there we go. It's gold, gold, gold. Current high bid $380 to CM Silver. CM Silver at 380 This is the day and age when every bust on a coin looks... Yeah. <laughs> he looks a little bit like a Muppet. <laughs> Real ruler, right? You'd have the power to do something, so... You'd do it. I hear ya. Do, do, do. Do, do. Papa Frank, I heard something about Atmax not selling silver. Strange. We'll see what happens. Do, 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 do. $380 is the current high bid. Aaron Krause is out. Aaron Krause, thank you for your bids. Appreciate you. John, a couple of weeks helping other disability patients. John McGuffin, very nice. Very, very nice. Alrighty. So we are at three, oh, three, oh, Cyclone 13, 385, 385, $385 is the current, oh, CM Silver in at 390, $390 is the current high bid, this is the, um, 1815, 1815 1815 France 90% gold coin it is 20 francs from the land of France two, two, two. a pretty cool coin little foreign gold beauty Three hundred and ninety dollars is the current high bid. <laughs> I don't know if there's any French in here. We can't uh, offend them, real ruler. Cyclone thirteen is at three hundred and ninety-five dollars. CM Silver at four hundo, four hundred dollars to CM Silver. CM Silver has the high bid at four hundred dollars. Has me itching for some gold. Gold is always fun. Cyclone thirteen is out. Cyclone thirteen, thank you very much for your bids. A valiant effort, my friend. Uh, we got CM Silver at $400, and we are going once. Alrighty, guys, after this one, unfortunately, I am still going to have to take a uh, break for a couple minutes. I know that I put you guys on hold for a couple minutes when I had to take that phone call, but I do still need to get up and stretch my legs and uh, take care of a couple things really quickly. So we will still be taking a break for a couple minutes after this lot. Oh, gold must is high. Gold is much higher than silver, yes. Um, 
Last call, everybody. And sold. Sold, sold, sold. This one's going to CM Silver for $400. CM Silver, 400 Congratulations to CM Silver. Awesome, awesome little coin. Congratulations. So, with that, we will take a break for a couple minutes. Um, I'll be back in five minutes or so. And we got some more cool stuff coming up. So, hang out. Uh, everybody, make sure that everybody... Uh, no fighting or arguing in the chat. Keep an eye on Super Garbage Man. He will probably try to touch the booby prize. And uh, I will be back in just a couple minutes.
Alrighty guys, I am back and my mom is watching so everybody say hi to Shibby's mom if you'd like to. <clears throat> you don't have to, but she is watching. Do 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 do. Super garbage man sprained his thumb. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I left this up on the screen because she can see it better, so. Alrighty, so let's get back into the auction. Here we go. Thank you guys for your patience. I appreciate you very much. Hopefully that wasn't too awful long. And uh, we're going to get into the next item up for bid. The next item up for bid is lot number 14. And this is a pair. Uh, there are two of them. Um, uncirculated. Uh, consecutive n a serial number. Um, Two dollar star notes. Um, they are from 1976. So they're the more modern ones. But they are beauties. I'll show you this one first. This is B0047627 star. And uh, held it up to the light. Don't see any fold lines. It is crisp, uncirculated. Very nice note. Uh, the starting bit on these guys is going to be... Uh, ten dollars for the pair sorry about taking so long mentioning the price uh ten dollars for the pair is going to be the starting bid uh his and hers coins at 15. um this is the zero zero four seven six two seven four also crisp they are both consecutive they're both star notes Beautiful shape and John McGuffin at twenty dollars. Twenty dollars to John McGuffin. Uh, his and hers coins at twenty one. Twenty one to his and hers coins. And thank you guys for saying hi to my mom. That was very sweet of all of you. Uh, John McGuffin at 22, SSF at 25, $25 to SSF. Uh, do you need to be a member to bid? Nathan L., no you do not. Um, I do have a couple rules. You have to be 18 years of age. Um, and if you have a U.S. address to ship to and a PayPal, you are good to go. If you don't have a PayPal, um, I have some other payment options available. Just let me know. Um, how you are able to pay, and if you're not in the U.S., you have to. You'll have to pay some extra shipping. And so I'll need to know that you're willing to pay extra shipping if it's outside of the United States. Uh, other than that, if you're 18, you have a PayPal and a U.S. address, you are good to bid. Current high bid: twenty-five dollars to SSF. John says, "Dang, I'm out." John, thank you for your bids. I appreciate you, bud. Uh, SSF is at $25. $25 to SSF. Alrighty. We got still so we got a bunch of cool stuff yet to go, guys. I got some cool things for the auction today. I hope that it is things that you guys enjoy. Uh, Twenty-five dollars is the current high bid going once. Can I see the number, please, up close? You absolutely can. Um, I can put it under the microscope. Let's try that.
So there you go. Zero zero four seven six two seven four star. And I'll show you real quick corners. Thank you. Anything else that you'd like to see up close, just let me know. I definitely want everybody to know exactly what they are bidding on. Alrighty. Don't want to focus. Uh, New England notes, I, uh, silver price will definitely have an effect on the coin roll hunt, and, uh, you know, if I can keep it the same, if it stays, like, under $32 or so an ounce, then I can keep it the same, but if we get up to 35 or more, then... I will have to start looking at uh, adjusting the coin roll hunt uh, either in the amount of silver that I give away or the price of the um, tiers in the coin roll hunt. Um, otherwise, I'd, I'd lose, you know, large amounts of money. <clears throat> 2711 is the spot. Yeah, as long as it doesn't get too high over that, then we are fine. Um, let's see. We are at last call. 25. 25 is at last call. And is, uh, John, is that a bid at 28? Just have to verify. Make sure that we know, John. If that is a bid at $28, please let us know for sure so that we know. He says yes. Okay. John McGuffin with a little sniper action. Pew, pew, pew. $28 to John McGuffin. Okay. Let's hope Silver Mount stays below 30 Yeah. Yeah, I, I keep it in mind, New England notes, um, and the the value of the dollar tanking in normal normal times, I'd say yeah, but there's something going on with silver. Um, there's something going on with silver that is, I'm not sure exactly what. So it'll play out in the weeks to come, and we'll get it figured out. Who has a birthday this month? As in January? The other Jimmy did yesterday. John at $28 going once. $28 is the bid to John McGuffin. John is at $28 going once. My dad is today. His baby yesterday. Birthday yesterday. Ha. Ah, very cool. Well, happy birthday to John's dad. A little bit late, but happy birthday nonetheless. We are going twice. $28 is the current high bid. We are going twice. Boom, boom. <laughs> Papa Frank Guido, things have definitely changed in the last year. For sure. Last call. Last call, everybody. $28 is the current high bid. John McGuffin, we're on our last call. 
Trucking for silver, how's things going? And then... Mine was the 11th. Oh, I did not know that. Well, happy belated, Lady Kid Nichols. To the value of the dollar. Well, there, I, there's the definitely like corresponding factors for sure. And I, I don't know what's going on. It's like things are strange, so we'll we'll see how it plays out. But we definitely don't want the value of the dollar to tank, not at all. We are sold, 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 sold. Twenty eight dollars to John McGuffin. Congratulations to John. These. Beautiful $2 star notes are going to you, my friend. Alrighty, next up, guys, we have lot number 15. Lot number 15 is an 1886 Morgan Silver Dollar. Starting bid on this one, guys, is going to be $22. This is an 1886 Morgan silver dollar. It's a beauty. Starting bid will be 22. We'll see where she goes from there. Yeah, gas prices going way up is never very fun. 1150 and 28. Can you add that for me? Yeah, it will be a total of $39.50, John. 39.50. And we'll show you guys this one under the microscope. Alrighty. So, oh, there's a crack in the case. That's not on the coin, guys, as you can see the reflection there. That's a crack in the case. I have another case around. I'll put it in a different one. But it is a beauty of a peace dollar. A little chatter in the fields and on the cheek. Uh, but still really nice, 1886, and we'll show you guys the back, beauty. Once again guys, this is the 1886, no mint mark, it's from Philadelphia, Morgan Silver Dollar. Uh, current high bid is $30 to Inkman, Inkman at $30. Yeah, Papa Frank, probably right. <laughs> you just never know. Papa Frank Guido at 35. I think it should be Robin Silver Keys. <laughs> he he knows, John. Uh, the, no hard feelings, of course. SSF won't have any hard feelings. It's an auction, and he knows, bud. So uh, congratulations on your win, John. And our current high bid on this Morgan Silver Dollar is $35 to Papa Frank Guido. <laughs> armpits. Mm, I heard that told a little differently, but I guess armpits does the job of the, telling the story. <laughs> All bullion dealers have now stopped all silver sales until global markets open tonight. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, guys, I'm not a dealer, but I'm not stopping my sales. <laughs> tonight, maybe it could be your last chance to get some uh, good price silver. I don't have an awful lot left, though. We got a two ouncer coming up though. Real roller, right? 
do, do, do. Ink Man is out. Ink Man, thank you for your bids. I appreciate you, my friend. Yes. <clears throat> anyway. Very nice, John. Very, very cool. We will be doing a giveaway at the end of the stream. We're on lot number 15 right now. And there are... Oh, does that say... I guess it's 15, but it looks like 13. Let's get that up to date. Okay. So we're on lot number 15. After lot number 25, we will be doing the end of stream giveaway. Do, do, do. Yeah, well, I'm, I guess I'm kind of a dealer. <laughs> Coin dealer. Not so much a bullion dealer, though. Do, 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 do. $35 is the current high bid. We are going once. They all say market fluctuation, volatility, or demand. Interesting. Well, it's been my opinion that uh, the bullion dealers have been up to no good lately. Anyhow, um, I have stayed away from all of them. I haven't ordered anything from JM or Amp Atmex or Provident or anything lately. Um, the premiums they charge have been kind of absurd and uh i've been of the opinion that they're up to no good those bullion dealers could i be wrong absolutely i'm no expert but we'll see what happens we will see do, 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 do. ssf bids 36 dollars 36 dollars to ssf very cool john yeah they they are worth a little bit of money they're very nice and uh i'm glad that you like them papa frank guido at 40 do, do, do. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. papa frank guido with a current high bid of 40 dollars $40 to Papa Frank Guido. Papa Frank Guido at 40 <clears throat> the, the thing with the bullion dealers for me is like... I don't want to get into it too awful much because I'm, I'm not an expert on things like this. But there was a certain point back uh, about eight or nine months ago when there was all kinds of... There was a, a silver shortage and you had to pay huge premiums and this, that, and the other thing. And the price of silver was low, but the premiums were high. And I was thinking at that point, I bet you when the price of silver goes back up, these silly premiums stick on everything. And even as of the last time that I looked, they were still charging like 6 or $7 premium on, you know, American Eagles or something like that. And those premiums, that it, it all seemed like the bullion dealers generated that demand so that they could charge premiums on silver and uh when it, it's all kind of played out that way and if i had to guess they're doing the same thing again now so uh john mcguffin that is a decision that you have to make my friend if you are comfortable with it, then uh, feel free to correspond with people. I, I think everybody in here has been nice people. 
and I don't think that you have to worry. But again, that is a decision that you have to make, um, whether you are comfortable sharing your address or not. Okay. Yeah, it yeah, don't do don't do that on public either, John. Do it in emails. Okay, forty dollars is our current high bid. Eagles were started to be just bullion, shouldn't have a premium in my opinion. Mustang Dave, uh agreed. It's you know, that's the reason that they started making Eagles was government backed bullion. So it should I, you know, anything that's government-backed, I'm okay with a small premium. A dollar or two at the most. But the premiums they charge are bananas. That's just my opinion. So where are we at? $40 is the current high bid. We're going twice. Going twice. $40 going twice. Papa Frank Guido at $40 going twice. And Coyote Whacker is in at 41 Coyote Whacker at 41 I'm going to show the coin one more time, guys, so everybody can see what she looks like. This is the reverse. It's in 1886. As you will see, there is no mint mark, so it is from Philadelphia. There is the reverse, and here is the obverse. Once again, 1886. This crack is on the case, not on the coin. 1886. And there we go. Current high bid, $45. $45 is the current high bid. Pop Frank Guido at 45 Okay. <clears throat> oh, one second, guys. Alrighty. Ba dum bum bum ba dum bum bum. Kellen L says melt it. Oh no! No, Kellen L. We don't want to melt it. It's beautiful. There we are. Papa Frank Guido at $45. $45 is the current high bid. Going once. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Going twice. $45 is the current high bid going two times, going twice. If I were to send it for grading, what would you grade it as? Um... I would say Papa Frank easy 63 possibly 64 probable 64 <clears throat> This one's pretty solid <clears throat> Coyote Whacker at 50 50 dollars is the current high bid
$50 is the current high bid Coyote Whacker at $50. I will say though, if you send it for greeting, don't expect it back anytime soon. Holy moly, these greeting companies. Ugh. I hate to rant about them every time I do a stream, but... <clears throat> My, my coins have been listed at NGC for three days now as grading and quality control. How can it possibly take that long if they're being graded and quality control? Crazy. $40 should be Rob. More shipping. It, it would be $40 with the shipping. Uh, $39.50 actually, John. So forty dollars would be fine, and that your shipping will be covered. A few inches of snow. Yeah, I, when I went uh, downstairs during the break, I looked out the window, and we have it's snowing a little bit. Clever coin name probably soon. PCGS submission from November fifteenth. Oh, that's awful. Sorry to hear that, Adam Jam. Yeah, they, they, those, uh, grading companies need to solve problems somehow. <clears throat> uh, maybe, maybe the coin graders, it, they should really, like, um, put a temporary hold on bulk submissions that are taking up all their time. So, I don't know. Yeah, being in California, I'm sure, does not help. <coughs> I didn't want to fill it. Yeah, that's true, Silver Keys. That's why, that's why I said, like, you know, possibly the bulk submission, they should put a hold on that. Because... The, the people that they have in their greeting have more knowledge than to sit and look at, you know, Eagle, American Eagle after American Eagle after American Eagle and, and slabbing a thousand of them or two thousand of them a day. They need to do the other coins that people are paying quite a bit of money on. Okay, sold, 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 sold. Coyote Whacker at $50. Congratulations to Coyote Whacker. This one is going to you. $50 was the high bid. Congratulations to Coyote Whacker. Okay, guys, next up we have lot number 16. This is a 2020 uh, $10 coin from Canada. It is four nines fine silver, two ounce. Argent Pure, the Kraken. Starting bid, $50. Two ounce. We'll start it right under uh, spot. We'll start it at 50 bucks. Super Garbage Man at 50 Adam Jam at 60 Adam Jam at 60 $60 to Adam Jam. His and hers coins at 65 His and hers at 65 Um, SSF, if you sent that coin in, my guess is that it would come back and it would say, uh, a details grade, like, uh, you know, XF details or AU details or probably uncirculated details though. Um, I'd have to look at it again, but probably unk details and then it, then it would say, Either environmental damage or artificial toning or something like that is what I would guess. <clears throat> but it would probably they would probably give you a details grade. Uh, Tiffany Twisted is at seventy one. I'm trying to catch up on the chat. There was a lot all of it at once. I couldn't read it all. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> Yeah. He 
Yeah, real roller, that uh, is true. A lot of people are not interested in solving problems. They want to see it closer. Yes, sure, absolutely. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I, I'm i having trouble keeping up with the chat today. It's going a little too fast for me, and there's only one of me. So I, I do apologize. I'm trying to keep up as good as I can. But I am a, a little bit behind all the time, so I'm trying. There you go. Four nines fine silver. Two ounce argent pure. The Kraken. He's got a couple ships that he's playing with. And then... This is the obverse. Is $10 face value. There is the queen. 2020. There's some smudges on the case. The coin is pretty, pretty perfect though. Pretty good. I don't, I don't see any problems with that. The case is starting to split a little bit. I just noticed, so I'll put it in a new one before I ship it. Super Garbage Man is at 72. 72 is current high bid. Okay, now I'll try to catch up on the chat. My middle daughter bought me one for my birthday in November. Cool. Very cool, M Pan. -dum -bum -bum. His and hers coins at 74. Have you considered cloning yourself? That would be nice. <laughs> uh, Tiffany Twisted at 75. I'm, I'm not sure the world is ready for two Shibby Robs, but... I wouldn't mind. Even for like a couple weeks, if I could just have another me for a couple weeks to help out. <laughs> Get caught up on some things. <clears throat> no, no. Don't need two. Don't need one. <laughs> okay. Get this one out of here. Yeah, see. Coin itself. Muy bueno. Let's put it in this one. There we go. Put her in a new home. Much better. Alrighty. <clears throat> I would be worried that a second me would be a better me. Oh no! No. You're a great you already, M Pan. Uh, $76 is the current high bid. His and hers coins at 76 Uh, Tiffany Twisted at 77. Tiffany at 77. 77 is the current high bid. It's 2020. Two ounce. Kraken. His and hers is out. His and hers, thank you for your bids. Appreciate you very, very much. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. $77 is the current high bid. Tiffany twisted at $77. Going once. <laughs> I want another me for spare parts. <laughs> Who is this guy? Clone himself five times. Hmm, I'm not sure. Do do. Bump. Ba dum bum bum do do Tiffany twisted with the current high bid seventy seven dollars <clears throat> Tiffany's husband 
Kalen is at 70. Ah, Tiffany's husband likes the Kraken. Very cool. Going twice. Bum, 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 bum. Last call. Last call, everybody. Last call. <clears throat> and we are sold, 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 sold. That one is going for $77 to Tiffany Twisted. Congratulations to Tiffany, Tiffany's husband. Very awesome. Cool, cool coin. And uh, congrats again on that. 77 Alrighty. Next up, guys, we have lot number 17. Lot number 17. This is a... This coin has a hole in it. Um, it is from the year 1700. It is a William the Third. Was the roller at the time. It's a William the Third half penny. Uh, with the hole in it. And the starting bid on this one, guys, is going to be $5. If anybody is interested, $5 will be the starting bid. This is a coin from 1700. This is, uh, I believe, currently the second or maybe third oldest coin that I own. But I won't own it for long. Someone is going to win it in this one. Uh, the hole is uh, right there. It's a it's got some nice detail on this coin on the obverse. Uh, the reverse, there's a little bit less detail, but there's enough to make out where Britannia was. You can see her a little bit there. The date is crystal clear. And you can see a little bit of the writing on the outside. But it is worn some for sure. This is a coin from 1700. Uh, current high bid is $11. Coyote Whacker at $11. Yeah, the date is real nice. Why is there a hole in it? Well, John, at some point, uh, somebody decided to drill a little hole in this coin. And they may have done it to uh, keep it on a string so that they could carry a bunch of them around and not lose them. Um, or occasionally somebody put a hole in a coin to use it as jewelry. But uh, I would have to guess uh, this one, the hole being on the bottom, and uh, the age of this one, that hole was probably put in there so that they could tie a bunch on a string together and carry them around and not lose them. It's a shame. Yeah, the, it, it is a shame, but it's still pretty cool, uh, even with the hole. Uh, but yeah, it would be, it would be a real nice uh, coin if it didn't have the hole. Yes, John, I that is not a problem. Um, I'll be able to ship it whenever you're ready. I have a, a little area in my big safe where I hold things uh, so that if I'm holding things for people, it doesn't get, uh, it's not in danger. So, uh, yeah, keep that in there. Uh, hey, Bella's dad, how's it going? A.K.A. Phil. Nice to see you, my friend. Coyote Whacker at 15 $15 is the current high bid. This is a uh, half penny. It's William the uh, Third. It's from 1700. The obverse is nice. The date is great. A little bit worn on the reverse, but still enough to make out Britannia. And you can see a little bit of the words going around. 
<clears throat> it actually looks a little bit nicer uh, in person without the uh, all the light. <coughs> Whoa, all the light from the microscope. So it's a cool little coin. Current high bid fifteen dollars to Coyote Whacker. Coyote Whacker is at fifteen. Yeah, very cool. And Tiffany Twisted is in at sixteen. As uh, hi as um as after fifteen dollars in my auctions. Uh, it's a one dollar increments only. You can bid fifty cent increments up to fifteen. But after 15, it's $1 increments only. But unfortunately, Tiffany was in at 16 anyhow. So that is a moot point. We were invented by Elias Howe in 1851. Interesting. AS at $17. $17 is the current high bid to AS. Do do do. But um bum bum. Sometimes sewn into clothing. Yeah, I think I've heard that as well. The hole looks old enough that zippers weren't around, <laughs> right? Do 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 do. <laughs> I'm bad. Yeah. So sometimes, sometimes it depends on the hole too. Some holes can be very ugly and distracting, where some other ones, like honestly, the hole on this one is kind of. It, it's not. It doesn't take away the look of the coin too much. I still think it's a nice looking little coin. Do -do -do -do. Ink Man, we are on lot number 17. 17 is the lot. 18 is the bid. Currently to Coyote Whacker. 18. Do -do -do -do. Holes in coins. I wish I had an example. There's, I've seen coins that the hole is just obnoxious makes the coin look aw awful I have a 1698 half penny Andrew that is awesome uh, AS this is 17 out of how many 17 out of 25 there are 25 total today AS um, if you can check out if you know how in the description of this uh, live stream there's also a list um, in, down in the description. And we are on, again, lot number 17 out of 25. 16.98. I, I have a couple old ones. Um... Let's see. Is this? No, oh, that's Canada. That's Canada. Alrighty. So I've got eighteen minutes farthing. Uh, 1739 is the old half penny that I have. 1739. It's pretty old. And the oldest penny I have is 1853 for the UK. And the oldest farthing is 1881H. Okay, so where are we at? We are on lot number 17. This is a 1700 halfpenny. It's William III. It's got a s small hole. 
down there on his shoulder. Uh, this is the obverse. This is the reverse. The reverse is uh, tough to make out, but the date is very nice on it. Put it back down here so you can see it doesn't want to focus. And our current high bid is Coyote Whacker at 25. There we go. 1700. Coyote Whackers at $25. Will you be doing any bonus slots today? Uh, Party Pickle? Possibly. Possibly Party Pickle? <laughs> That's alliteration right there, I think. Is that right? Alliteration? Bum 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 bum. Do 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 do. Pum, ba -dum, pum, pum. Coyote Whacker is at $25. $25 is the current high bid. Going once. <clears throat> I'm new here, but not new to YouTube auctions. Hi, folks. Alan89S. Hey, Alan89S. Uh, Alan89S is in at $26. Um, sometimes I do extra lots at the end of auctions uh stuff that's not on the list john um i may do a couple extra items today we'll see what happens i haven't decided for sure yet uh 26 dollars is the current high bid alan 89 s at 26. Just do have to mention Alan 89S. Um, I, there's just a couple of rules uh, here. One is that you do have to be 18 years of age to bid in this auction. Um, and uh, it's, of course, much easier if you have a U.S. address to ship to and a PayPal. And uh, so if it's a check to all those three things, you're good to bid. $26 is the current high bid. And I have a split fingernail. I need to go get a darn uh, fingernail clipper. Do, do, do. No problem. Oh, Coyote Whacker at 27 $27 to Coyote Whacker. And I will be right back in just one second, guys. I know a lot of us wish we were still under 18. So we have Coyote Whacker at $27. $27 is the current high bid. And my fingernail is fixed. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. Going once, 27. All right. If it's fixed, why'd you keep clipping it? Um, just to get it 
symmetrical on the edges. <laughs> do, 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 do. No problem, the other Jimmy. Nothing we'll get mad about, just trying to remember. Keep them out of chat as much as possible. Alan 89s at $31. $31 to Alan 89s. Going once. Uh, John McGuffin, yes, they are both star notes. <laughs> Not in this day and age. Yeah, well, you're probably right. I do, sometimes I, like, uh, I miss uh, being a little bit younger when it was easier to stay in better shape and could eat whatever I wanted and stuff like that. $31 is the current high bid. $31 to Allen 89S. Alrighty. So I will be sending invoices out directly after the show today, after the auction. Um, if anybody would like for me to hold things, uh, email me tonight. Um, I will be shipping tomorrow, so... If anybody wants me to hold things for a while to combine shipping, email me tonight. Otherwise, everything will be shipped out tomorrow. Young in the same time I was young, but not in these days. Yeah, that's that's a good point, Ink Man. That is a good point. I was just talking to somebody locally about um, the town that I live on, live in, and the, the difference between the town now and the way that it was when I was a teenager, uh, $32 to Coyote Whacker, Coyote Whacker is in at 32 going once, do, 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 do. bum, 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 bum. $32 is the current high bid. We are going once. Coyote Whacker at 32. Alan 89S at 33. <clears throat> and as we've started counting things down several times, Silver Keys uh, is more than welcome to count down things a little bit quicker. Uh, at your leisure, Silver Keys. By the way, uh, once again, Silver Keys, thank you very, very much for all your help counting things down. You make things super easy on me, and I appreciate you very much. Uh, Coyote Whacker at 35. Too many cameras. <laughs> uh, Alan 89S is out. Alan 89S, thank you for your bids, and uh, welcome to the stream. And uh, thank you for letting us know that you're out. It always makes things easier. We appreciate that. Coyote Whacker is at $35. $35 going twice. Steak was good. Mmm, I could go for a steak. I haven't had a steak in a while. Mmm, steak. Last call. Last call, everybody. And sold, 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 sold. That one's going to Coyote Whacker. For $35. Congratulations, Coyote Whacker. Very cool little coin. That one's going to you. Congrats. Next up, guys, we have this. That was one of two coins with holes in them. This is the second one. This is lot number 18. 
This is from 1827. It is Bolivia. This one is silver. Come on. Well, we'll put it under the scope in a minute. 1827 Bolivia. It is 8 Sol. 8 SOL. Um, <clears throat> starting bid on this one is going to be $20. Two, two, two. $20 will be the starting bid on this one, guys. <clears throat> and we have MPAN72 at. Twenty dollars. Ink Man is in at thirty. It is silver, um, and it's also it's also got that Bolivar right there. It's got some doubling, which is pretty cool. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Let me really quickly pull this up so I can tell you about it. Um, okay. So this is the thing right here. It is 90% silver. It is the ASW is 0 0.7839. 2125 is the melt value. It's 1825 or 1827 Bolivia 8 soul. And then now let me get this moved a little bit. So you guys can check out this doubling. It's pretty cool. You can see it on the V for sure. But a little bit on the other letters. Pretty cool. There you go. You can see the doubling on the B. Cool little coin. Unfortunate hole. <laughs> but again, what can you do? There was a hole in it. This is 1827 Bolivia 8 Soul. And uh, we are at $30. Inkman 78 at $30. And we can count this one down. Let me actually let me show you guys this side under the scope too, just so you know what we're looking at. Going once. Eighteen twenty-seven, and it's got uh alpacas. These are alpacas under a tree. Why? Don't know. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it, it's in a case. It, it's made it for 200 years. It can survive even Shibby Rob. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Last call. It, I, that's what I thought, Mustang Dave. They did look like seals, but apparently they're alpacas. $30 is the current price, our current bid, and we are sold... Sold, sold, sold to Inkman78 for $30. $30 to Inkman. Congratulations, Inkman. <clears throat> nice little coin. And up next, we have another foreign coin. This is lot number 19. 1907. Newfoundland fifty cents. Okay, so here we go. This is lot number nineteen. Starting bid on this one, guys, is gonna be uh boy, I don't know. I'll start this one at uh twenty-five dollars and we'll see what happens. Twenty-five dollars is gonna be the starting bid. Nineteen oh seven Newfoundland. 50 cents so there you go we'll get this coin under the scope and let you guys check it out do, 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 do. the mules of the inca interesting 
very cool okay so here we go this is the obverse this is uh, Canada Territory Newfoundland 50 cents from 1907 and let's see So this one is KM number 11, KM 11, it is sterling silver, 925 silver, melt value is $10, it is uh, 0.0350 of an ounce. Uh, this coin has a mintage of 100,000, only 100,000 of these coins were minted guys. Um, It is probably uh, XF condition wise in my estimation it's a cool coin and DC bingo is at $25 $25 is the current high bid to DC bingo and let me show you guys once again it's 1907 it's from Newfoundland 50 cents the mintage is a hundred thousand sterling silver KM number is number 11 we got his and hers coins at 26 $26 is the current high bid to his and hers coins. His and hers coins at 26. DC Bingo's at 27. 27 is the current high bid to DC Bingo. Do 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 Uh his and hers coins at twenty eight DC bingo at twenty nine. DC Bingo at $29. $29 is the current high bid. His and hers is at $30. $30 is the current high bid. Two, 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 two. DC Bingo at 31 to participate in the next coin roll hunt. Ink Man, yes I can. I will do that. I'll, uh, I'll make a note and put it in a bubble mailer and we'll hold it till uh, your next coin roll hunt. No problemo. His and hers at 32. DC's at 33. DC Bingo at $33. $33 is the current high bid. DC Bingo. His and hers is at 34. Hey, Brisky Ben, how's it going? Nice to see you, my friend. How are you doing? 
his and hers at $34. $34 is the current high bid. This is, guys, lot number 19. It's a 1907 Newfoundland uh, 50 cent piece. This, this is a low mintage coin from Newfoundland uh, Territory in Canada. DC Bingo at 35. Total mintage is 100,000. 100,000 of these were made. How many survived? Who knows? Hard to tell. Our current high bid is $35. $35 to DC Bingo. His and hers at 36. His and hers is at $36. Alrighty, let's see. Let's go ahead. Refresh this chat. Do 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 do. Boom ba dum ba dum boom. DC Bingo's at thirty seven. His and hers and at thirty eight. His and hers at thirty eight dollars. Thirty eight dollars is the current high bid on this one. And. DC Bingo is out. DC Bingo, thank you very much for your bids. Appreciate you very much, DC Bingo. His and Hers Coins is at $38, and we are going once. $38 is the current high bid. We are going once. Last call. Last call, everybody. Last call and final warning. $38 is the current high bid. We have his and hers coins at $38. And then... Sold. Sold, sold, sold. That one is going for $38. To his and hers coins. Congratulations, his and hers. Very cool little rare coin there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And there we go. Congratulations. Next up, guys, we have lot number 20. Lot number 20 is this set right here. It is a three-piece set of old cuban banknotes starting bid on this is going to be ten dollars and in just one second i will show you what they look like up close um, that one was 38. all righty whoops aye, aye, aye. so here we go guys there are three notes in here this is the five dollar note is from 1958 the twenty dollar notes from 1958 this ten dollar note is from 1960 and this one is crisp and uncirculated the other ones are a little bit more circulated this one's real nice though and there are a couple different versions of this 1960 note from Cuba I'm not exactly sure why but uh, this is one of them <laughs> I was trying to figure out why 
some of the 1960 notes look different, but I couldn't really figure it out. So then we'll show you. This is the lower quality of the three. This is the five pesos. Still a pretty cool note. It is from 1958. And then we'll show you. This is the $20 note. There is a fold down the middle of this one. Um, I think there's folds both ways. Yeah, there's folds both ways on this one. So, but it is still in pretty nice shape. It's still pretty crisp as a bill. It is 20 pesos. Veinte pesos. Banco Nacional de Cuba. Does that sound right? I don't know exactly, but that is the 20 pesos from Cuba. Uh, it was $10. Sorry about that, Silver Keys. No, and no problem. I think, I think they've all, uh, they're all set. I was, uh, not watching the chat there while I was showing those off, so. Apologies. Alrighty, there we go. And we still have a couple more, more items left after that one, guys. This is lot number 20. Uh, current high bid is $18 to his and hers coins. His and hers coins. Mrs. His and hers coins is at $18. <sighs> the, um, the $10 is... Wait, hold on. This I can answer. Okay, the 20 is American Bank Note. The, the $10 I think is from London. The, the $10 is... Thomas De La Rue and Company, Limited, London. So the the ten dollar one is was printed in London. And the five dollar one, also London. Thomas De La Rue and Company, Limited, London. Just the the American Bank Note Company was just the twenty in this set. Okay, his and hers coins at twenty three. John McGuffin at twenty five. John McGuffin is at twenty five dollars. Uh, epic stash. <laughs> yeah, there's some there was some good facial hair going on. These guys. Do, do, do. Uh Mrs. His and Hers at twenty six. Twenty six dollars is the current high bid. Mrs. His and Hers at twenty six. John McGuffin is out. John, thank you for your bids. Appreciate you, my friend. Current high bid, $26 to Mrs. His and Hers Coins. Going once. Boom, boom, boom. SSF at 28, his and hers at 29, Mrs. His and hers at 29. Back, one guess as to what I had for dinner. Uh, uh, is today Sunday? I would guess... Uh, steak. 
do 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 Twenty nine dollars is the current high bid or $29 is the current high bid. $29. And we are on lot number 20, yes. <laughs> Pot roast. Hmm. Close. But no banana. <laughs> Alrighty. We were uh, going twice. Last call, everybody. Last call. $29 is the current high bid. $29 to Mrs. His and Hers Coins. $20. $29 last call. And then... Just found a 1965 quarter while doing a coin roll hunt. Awesome. Sold, 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 sold. This one is going to Mrs. His and Hers for $29. Three notes, $29. A very nice little deal. Congratulations, His and Hers. 29 Alrighty, next up, guys, we have some state quarters. Okay, so this is what we have. I have ten rolls. They're all going to be as a set. They are from 1999 to 2008. Uh, there's one roll for each year. <clears throat> there's that. And then each year... For example, this year is 1999, and there are eight of each in there. So there are eight from each state. These are uh, from 1999. There are eight of each state quarter from that year. So there's a total of eight sets of state quarters. I think these are all Philadelphia. I'm pretty sure these are all Philadelphia. But every coin is... Oh, nope. That's Denver. Let's see. I opened up one so I could take a peek here. But, uh... Denver. Maybe they're all Denver. Well, anyhow, there's eight of each quarter. This is the way that they came. It was very meticulous. The collector who collected these there's a roll for 99 to 2008 all 50 states eight of each other than that i don't know exactly what's in there you get the tubes and everything starting bid face value a hundred dollars <clears throat> Uh, Mrs. His and Hers Coins, yes, I can do that, no problem. Party Pickle at 100 bucks. Once again, guys, face value, uh, $100 here. Um, I know that there's, you know, I don't know exactly what all's in here. Um, but I know that the, the gentleman who collected these was very, very meticulous in everything that he did. So, oh. That one's got, you get a discount for that one. One got dropped out. It's not BU anymore. Man, I'm such a butterfingers. Okay. So, yeah, all these coins are uncirculated. It looks like they're all Denver, if I had to guess. Nope, there's a Philadelphia. So, yeah, he must have just picked the eight nicest for each state that he could find. <clears throat> ten rolls. Uh, ten rolls, 40 in a roll, 400 quarters. Uh, 
um, face ten a hundred dollars face value in quarters. Current bids one hundred and ten to New Marshall. Keep in mind this is going to require a small box, uh, flat rate box to ship, so shipping is going to be eight dollars. Terrible guesser. <laughs> Sometimes. $110 to New Marshall in town. $110. Yes, 400 quarters total. Correct. And Bigfoot coins at 115 <clears throat> New Marshall at 120 Big Flip, how's it going? Thanks for being in here. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, all of these are sealed. Um, I did open the one um, so that I could answer questions. So, but all the rest of them are sealed. And again, they all they're all labeled with the year. They all say eight of each state and BU. So, New Marshall in town at 150. Holy moly. Microsoft went down 5%. Interesting. I sent a PayPal for next weekend. Cool. Thank you, Inkman. Inkman, it is a shortened stream next week, so I hope you didn't send in for a half box because I'm not going to have half boxes, just the $30 and $60 tiers. Because we're not going to stream Sunday, so we're going to do a short coin roll hunt Saturday followed by a short auction Saturday. And uh, we'll do it all on the same day. hundred and fifty dollars hundred and fifty dollars is the current high bid new marshall in town um party pickle and big flip thank you for your bids new marshall is at 150 and we are going twice Last call. Last call. Yep. Very good. I already have three donate donations for next Saturday's coin roll hunt, so we may sell out of this one quick. So... If you are interested, you may want to do that. Can I do a 30? Tiffany, yes you can. And we are sold, 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 sold. New Marshall in town at $150. Congratulations, New Marshall. Uh, New Marshall in town. For my um, auctions, I now send in invoices at the end of the auction. I don't think you've bid on any since I started doing that, uh, but I do have your email, so I will send you an invoice uh, after the auction is over today. So, uh, congratulations, new marshal in town, and that one is going to you. Next up, guys, is lot number 22. Lot number 22, this is a 1961 United States proof set. So I'm going to put it up here for a minute and catch up on the chat. I will show you guys up close in just a minute. Just be patient with me for a sec. Okay, let me catch up on the chat. Make sure I didn't miss anything. And then we'll get these under the microscope. Starting bid on these is going to be uh, $21. $21 will be the starting bid. 1961 U.S. proof set. Silver Ben Franklin, Silver Quarter, Silver Roosevelt Dime. 
Okay. I'm pretty sure I answered you, Tiffany. Uh, yes, you can do a 30 if you'd like. But I'm not sure that I answered. I might have been just thinking that in my head. <laughs> Clever, put me down for a 60. Clever, you got it. I will put you down. Um, we have a current high bid of $21. Okay, one second, guys. One second. A lot going on here. Okay, so really quickly, I'm going to take a minute and do this. Uh, first is going to be SSF. Donation was already in. Second is going to be New England Notes. Third is going to be Ink Man. Four will, will be Tiffany. Five will be Clever. Four, two, four. And uh, we're getting up in the area of halfway. Carla, yes you can. Send it in whenever you like. I'll put you on the list. You're number six. You'll be up sixth. Uh, the other Jimmy is in at $26. And let me get this under the microscope so you can see these coins, guys. This is the 1961 uh, Ben Franklin. It has a little bit of a start of a toning spot over here on the edge. But other than that, pretty clear. Washington Quarter. There's the nickel. Dime and the 1961 penny, and I'll flip that over. Um, more gold in the next auction. Cyclone, uh, the next auction is going to be Wednesday, it's going to be all slabs. There will be no gold in that one. Uh, but for next Saturday, we're going to do a coin roll hunt. Starting at 1 p.m., it'll be just two boxes. After those two boxes, then we'll do an auction. It'll be 10 items, and there will be at least one piece of gold in next Saturday's auction. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, the other Jimmy at 28. The other Jimmy is at 28. Next Sunday, there will be no auction. Uh, anybody that... Wants to enjoy the, the game. I'm going to relax, watch the game, and uh, take the day off from streaming next Sunday. So that's why we're going to do two short ones on Saturday, right together. Well, it'll be one longer uh, stream, but we're going to do a short coin roll hunt and a short auction all on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be this. It'll all be one stream. There'll be one comment video. There's going to be two giveaways. One at the end of the coin roll hunt. One at the end of the auction. Uh, Tiffany twisted. There was one gold coin. It was lot number thirteen, and CM Silver was the winner on that one. Uh, Coyote Whackers at thirty-two. This is the nineteen sixty-one U.S. proof set. Coyote Whacker at 32. Uh, SSF, I, I'm going to up the amount of spots on the wheel. We came pretty close to giving away that booby prize on Saturday. You must admit. So, uh, we, there's a chance we'll give it away. And there'll be a decent amount of wheel spins. Uh, Sir Benji at 33. Sir Benji at 33. Uh, if I missed anything, guys, uh, remind me. I'm trying to keep up with the chat, but I have missed a few things. So if I missed anything, let me know. The other Jimmy says, yeah, one pixel. That's, 
That's the closest I ever seen the other Jimmy. Holy moly. That, I thought it was on there, but it was one little tiny spot away. <clears throat> We're going to make that white wedge a little bit bigger this week. So there will be a chance. But we're not going to go crazy. We're not going to be unfair to all the people that have donated before. Coyote Whacker at $34. $34 is the current high bid. Sir Benji is out. Sir Benji, thank you very much for your bids, my friend. I appreciate you very much. Uh, Coyote Whacker is at $34. $34 going once. For the coin roll hunt and add it to my invoice. Yeah, I can do that. Papa Frank, you're on the list. Papa. And note to self to add to invoice. Okay, sold, 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 sold. That one's going to Coyote Whacker for 34 not 35 $34. Congratulations, Coyote Whacker. That one is going to you, my friend. The 1961 proof set. 34 Alrighty, next up, guys, we have lot number 23. <laughs> Real ruler. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to make it too easy, but I do want to uh, start a new one soon. So, um, did I miss anything else? I don't think so. Okay, so here we go. This is lot number 23. Uh, this is, the, it's from 2011, and this is the September 11th, it's a 9-11 National Medal. It is proof, one ounce of silver, 1.598 inches, edge smooth, uh, mintage limit 2 million across all options, minted in West Point. So it's an ounce of silver. There's the COA. It is proof finish. And it is beautiful. It, uh, there's a lot of reflection and glare, so it's kind of hard to see. But boy, it is a pretty coin. This is a 9-11 memorial. Uh, starting bid on this one, guys, is going to be uh, $25. Started at $25. And then I will show you the reverse. Alrighty, we got John McGuffin at 33. $33 is the current high bid. John McGuffin at 33. Once again, guys, this is lot number 23. It's a 2011. It's the uh, September 11th National Medal. Let me spot it around the wheel, but about 1%. 
maybe increase it by 0.5 each stream. Real Ruler, that is, uh, was actually already suggested and implemented. Uh, the White Wedge was just a, a tad smaller, this or a tad larger this uh, last yesterday. And it will be a little bit larger every week until it goes. <clears throat> I have one of these. It's a beautiful piece. Yes, it. they really are gorgeous. It's beauty. Uh, current high bid is MPAN72 at $35. Never saw it. I can show you again. Should I try putting it under the microscope? I can try that too. I got a dang damn mirror finishing. A lot of reflection. So let's see. So there we go. You can always remember. So there's that, and then here's the reverse. Beauty. Really, really pretty. $35 is the current high bid to MPAN. Going once. $35 to MPAN. Going once. <laughs> Power ring. <laughs> I don't have one. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it is really pretty. Don't know if I saw the wheel yet. I ah, got you, real roller. Yep, we are going to. We're going to make it just a hair bigger every week until it it sell or until it goes the uh, booby prize. Um, if I had to guess, it won't be long. Before someone hits that and wins the booby prize. Gorgeous coin. Yes, yes it is. I agree. Uh, Andrew Cooper at $37. <clears throat> Coops is at 37 The rabbit hops in. And uh, bids $37 to Andrew. Uh, we are going twice. Happy Bear said something. <laughs> Must have been on the wrong channel. Long day, bad day. <coughs> Today, Carla, I'm sorry to hear that. Last call. Last call, everybody. $37 is the current high bid. The rabbit hopped in. Bid $37. And sold, 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 sold. This one is going to Andrew. $37 was the high bid. Congratulations, Andrew. Let me get this packed back up. $37 to Andrew. Alrighty. Next up, guys, we have... This is another graded piece dollar. This is lot number 24. Okay, let's see. Lot number 24. This is an NGC... Uh, MS-63, 1923S, P-1, 
piece dollar. Starting bid on this one, guys, is going to be um, $40. $40 would be the starting bid. If anybody's interested, it's a 1923S. Uh, Papa Frank Guido at 45 Papa Frank is at 45 $45 is the current high bid. Once again, guys, this is a 1923S uh, piece dollar. It is NGC graded. There we go. And we have SSF at forty six. Forty six dollars is the current high bid. $46 to SSF. Uh, Papa Frank Guido at 50. Papa Frank is at 50. SSF says Holly Molly. 52. Holy moly. Papa Frank Guido is at 55. Papa Frank says 55. Hey, Jim Davis. How's it going? Bum, 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 bum. All righty, we have a current high bid of fifty five dollars. That is, nope, we're at fifty five. Papa Frank Guido bid fifty five. Do, 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 do. Papa Frank Guido is at $55. And nope, no problem, Silver Keys. <clears throat> you do wonderfully, wonderfully, wonderfully. You make a lot less errors than I do. <laughs> For sure. <clears throat> Of course, that's pretty easy to do better than me, but. <laughs> Papa Frank Guido. By the way, it should be Rob. When the next stimulus check arrives, I'll just send it to you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Papa Frank Guido, you've picked up some really awesome stuff lately. Congratulations on that. I got a lot more slabs coming Wednesday, too. <laughs> uh, we are going twice. Oh. SSF in at 56. 56 dollars. Silver Soldier Fortune is in at 56. Papa Frank says 57. 57 dollars is current high bid. Once again, guys, this is an NGC graded MS 63 1923 S piece dollar. Inkman, uh, 6 o'clock on Wednesday, I believe. I'll know for sure by Tuesday. Tuesday, I'm going to do a coin chat and put out a comment video. Uh, but I believe we're going to do it Wednesday at 6. 5011? <laughs> uh, super Garbage Man makes jokes and safely spells things out so nobody can get them in trouble. <laughs> 
$57 is the current high bid. Papa Frank Guido is at $57 going once. Going once. Going uno times. One time. Fifty-two. We've been at like a pretty consecutive, like fifty to fifty-five people for quite a long time on this stream. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you all so much for being in here. Appreciate you. We'll be doing a giveaway pretty soon here. So many channels on, I feel like a beach ball. Yeah, when I get towards the end of my auction, I start getting into other people's streams. But we're getting close. We only have a couple more items. Then we'll do a free giveaway. And this one was, I forgot to write that down. Where did I, oh, there we go. To Andrew. Okay. So we are at, SSF was at $58, $58 to SSF, uh, Papa Frank Guido is at 60 yes, Big Flip will be on at 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, 7 Mountain, $60. Papa Frank Guido is at $60. Going once. Going once. And SSF says $62. Papa Frank says $65. Sixty-five dollars is the current high bid to Papa Frank Guido. <laughs> Sorry, the other Jimmy. Uh, I'll let you deal with that beyond here. You, what do you mean, uh, Silver Keys? You want me to call them down? The last couple? Or is there something else I'm missing? I can. The spam I hid. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't even see it. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, I didn't catch it. I have I've not been doing a great job at at catching things. There's a, the stream's been a little bit quick with the chat for me to keep up today. Sorry. Okay. What is the current high bid? Sixty five. Papa Frank Guido is at sixty five. $65 the current high bid, and we are going twice. Can't have any of that. Okay. $65, last call. Last call, everybody. $65 is the last call. <sighs> I'm going to I'm gonna probably send an email, maybe, if, the, if I, well, no, maybe I'm not. 
Anyhow. Sold. <laughs> sold, sold, sold. To Papa Frank Guido for $65. Congratulations, Papa Frank. That one is going to Papa Frank Guido for $65. And we're going to move on to the last lot of the day. The last lot of the day is going to be 1989 Morgan Silver Dollar. Starting bid is going to be twenty-two bucks. It's, it is uncirculated. Morgan, and I'll show you, and I'll get it under the scope in just a second. Okay. Okay. So there's that. There's that. Alrighty. It, this is a Morgan silver dollar. It's an 1889. So no, not the not the piece Morgan. The last official lot. Yeah, I think so. Although Papa Frank Guido might get mad at me if I do bonus lots because if I do bonus lots, they'll probably be slabbed piece dollars. So this is lot number 25. It is an 1889 Philadelphia Morgan Silver Dollar. Uh, uncirculated condition. Beauty of a coin. We'll get this underneath the scope so you guys can check her out. And our current high bid is $35 to Tiffany Twisted. Super Garbage Man is in at 40 So here we go. This is the 1889. This is not quite perfect. There we go. 1889 Morgan Silver Dollar This one is uh, I would guess Definitely 62 possibly 63 Still pretty clean, nice detail, and I'm not an expert, so I could be all wrong. Who knows? But Super Garbage Man is at forty. Forty dollars is the current high bid. Hey guys, sorry I'm back. I left my six-year-old son. Oh no, SSF. He he didn't win. Oh, he's kidding. SSF, you're kidding, right? SSF is kidding. <laughs> you had me for a minute. <laughs> he just was, I was, was reading that back. And I saw, wait, he just ran out of the screen, his room crying. I said, oh my goodness. That hurt my heart a little bit. <laughs> Aw. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you were kidding. <laughs> $42 is the current high bid. Tiffany Twisted is at $42. This is an 1889 Morgan Silver Dollar Grilled Cheese. Oh, that sounds good, too. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. We are at $42. $42 is the current high bid. Uh, Tiffany, Tiffany Twisted is at $42 on this uh, Morgan Silver Dollar from $18.89. $42 going once.
<laughs> Papa Frank Guido says, I'm out for right now. Bologna sandwiches this week. Oh, no. My cousin from New Jersey sends me whatever falls off the back of a truck. <laughs> nice. <laughs> The Morgan Peace Dollar. It's coming up. It's one of these days. Super Garbage Man. For sure. And SSF says 43. Snipey, snipey. Last item of the day. An SSF with a little sniperish action. And at 43. <laughs> Loaf of bread, 49 cents on the clearance rack. Oh, no, don't eat the clearance bread. <laughs> beach ball wins all. Hey, beach ball. Thanks for stopping in. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Sorry about that. I don't eat blue bread. <laughs> Good choice, silver keys. <laughs> Uh, Tiffany Twisted at 44. $44 is the current high bid. We got an 1889 Morgan Silver Dollar. Very pretty coin. We'll show it to you one more time in this camera, guys. 1889 Morgan Silver Dollar. Tiffany Twist. No, it's not. Thought it was a rotated die for a second, but it's not. Um, Tiffany Twisted is at 44. 44 to Tiffany. And we are going once, I think. Maybe not yet. Stainless steel stomach. Not me. My my tummy is uh, sensitive. <laughs> Enjoy your pasta. Prego roasted garlic parmesan sauce. Mm, that sounds good. Going twice. $44. Going twice. Last call. Last call, everybody. $44 is the current high price. Oh. Sniper, sniper, super garbage man at 45. What is this trickery? Super garbage man at $45. <clears throat> and Tiffany is out. Tiffany, thank you very bad. Sorry about that. Super garbage man, LOLs. Four. $45, Super Garbage Man. SSF at 46 SSF is at 46 Papa Frank Guido bidded dollar sign, but that was just a finger slip. SSF at $46. Ba-dum-bum-bum, bum 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 ba dum bum $46 is the current high bid, guys. $46 to SSF. And uh, going once. Bum bum bum. Alrighty guys, so once we get through past this item, we'll be done with the 25 items in this auction for the day. Um, after that, we're going to do a free giveaway. Uh-oh. Any, any problems? Silver Keys may have been booted. Looks like everybody was dropped off for a minute. Is anybody out there? 
Looks like my connection is still good. We're here. Okay. Here, here, here. Okay. <clears throat> we left. Okay. Yeah, it, it was just showing a weird little thing with my uh, stream settings. It looked like it kicked everybody out for a minute. Um, but we're here. $46 going twice. $46. SSF is at $46 going twice. Papa Frank Guido, Shibby Rob, hold on to these until after the next auction. I will pay the invoice one cent. Uh, Papa Frank Guido, I can do that. SSF is really having some lag, I believe. But I think we're okay. Last call. Last call, everybody. New England notes. Um, New England notes, I don't think so. Not that I'm seeing on the list. Sold. Sold, sold, sold. This is going to be SSF. At 46. Congratulations to SSF. Hey, yes, thank you very much. Appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Who won the first peace dollar? Papa Frank Guido did uh, SSF. So that one's going to SSF for $46. Congratulations to Silver Soldier of Fortune. That one's going to you for 46 Okay, now guys, I'm going to take a minute to... Uh, stretch my legs and get out the prize for the end of stream giveaway. So just, uh, it'll be only like two or three minutes. Uh, everybody behave. I will be right back. Uh, just a couple minutes. And uh, we'll do the end of stream giveaway. And if one of my moderators doesn't mind, could you leave a, com a link to the comment video in the chat so people can get over there? And then, if you guys want, I can do a couple more bonus lots after the free giveaway. So, we'll see what happens. I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, I am back. Thank you all for your patience. Alrighty, guys. Appreciate your patience. Um, Carla, thank you, Chibi Rob, and all the moderators. Carla, thank you for being here and absolutely... Uh, wonderful group of moderators that I have. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you very much. Uh, yesterday, yes, there were four 40% silvers, one foreign coin, um, and uh, like seven or eight NIFCs, I think. Something like that. Found a little bit of silver, so that was cool. We'd like to find more. So for the end of stream giveaway today, guys, we're going to do two of them. End of stream giveaway number one, numero uno. You're going to get your choice between the two things that you see here. Uh, the two things that you see here are either A, this is an uncirculated set. <clears throat> this is, this one's got a little smudge on it. It's one I showed earlier on the half dollar, but it's 40% silver. Half, uh, Ike dollar, and quarter. And then the other choice is gold. This is, it has on it uh, 1865B from Mexico. Uh, but this is actually like a wedding token they make. And it tested at 22 karat gold. On uh, the little machine, it tested at 22 karat gold. Um, it's a little iffy, though. It's a, it's a weird thing because it's not actually a coin. Um, so if somebody prefers the silver, they can take that instead. But if you are the first person picked, you will have the possibility of the gold. Gold, gold, gold. Okay, so with that in mind, we're going to pick a couple of winners. Everybody, there was a comment or a link to the comment video posted in the chat. If you haven't already, you got about 30 seconds to get over there and leave a comment. You must get back to the chat because you do have to be present in the chat in order to claim your prize to win this end of stream giveaway. We're going to get it up on the screen. There we go. We're going to filter duplicate users, no replies, no specific text, no exclusion or blacklist, and no extra entries for anyone. We're going to filter this for unique comments. There are a total of 64. I have a question though, real ruler, really quickly. I will answer it. What's your question? <clears throat> Who is Juan the first? I don't know, real ruler. Can't, can't help you with that, I'm afraid. Did I get in? Um, I don't know, SSF. I'll give you guys another minute. We'll take this off the screen. One more minute, get over there. Let me take this. I'll leave this. If you haven't already, get over there, leave a comment. You got one minute. The guy before Juan the second. <laughs> he was the first one. The last five letters in the comment video link. Juan the second or Juan the first. Interesting. I don't know. Randomly generated. Okay. Uh, ten seconds and then we're going to get this back up and we're going to pick a winner. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to get this back up on the screen. We're going to filter it again. And we have, oh, four more people got in. We got 68 right now. So here we go, guys. We're going to pick a first winner. Hopefully it'll be somebody that's in the chat. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. 
That did not work. What on earth is that all about? Oh, I... I hit the wrong thing. There we go. The winner is... Big Flip Coins. Big Flip, are you in the house? Okay, let's get this off the screen. Big Flip, are you in here? Big Flip Coin says, yep, Big Flip Coins is the winner. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Congratulations to Big Flip. You are the winner. Big Flip, you get your choice. The uncirculated set or this little piece of gold. Check out the beard on this guy. <clears throat> or the plastic pirate coin. <laughs> So it's got a date on it, um, but it is like a wedding token, and it tested at 22 karat gold, and that is going to Big Flip. Congratulations, Big Flip. Alrighty, so that will be end of stream number one, and that is, today is 131, 21, Big Flip. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Alrighty, we got one more to give away, guys. We're going to give away this uh, <clears throat> set. It is the Bicentennial Silver Uncirculated set, the three-piece set. And let me see. We're going to go to a different comment picker. Let's use a different one because why not? That'll be fun. Okay, so here we go, guys. I'm going to bring this back up onto the screen. This is the red one. We're going to put the URL in here. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Brandon Scott. Brandon Scott, are you in here? Brandon Scott, if you are here, please let us know. Is Brendan Scott in the chat? Don't immediately see him. Brandon Scott, if you are here, please let us know. All right, so let's do this. We'll go over here. One minute. Brandon Scott, you have one minute. Unfortunately, if you are not here, we do have to move along. You do have to be present in the chat at the time of the end of stream giveaways in order to win. No, I'm afraid rules is rules. And uh, if he is not here, we're going to have to pick another name. And to stream giveaways on my stream, you always have to be present in the chat in order to win those ones. You do it for Randolph? <laughs> no. There's no discrimination. Do 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 do. Uh, Brandon Scott, you have about another 20 seconds. <clears throat> B 
Blazing Saddles. Ah, I haven't, I haven't seen that in many, many, many moons. Alrighty. Sorry about that, Brandon, but I'm afraid we must move on to try number two. You do have to be present in the chat at the time of the giveaway in order to win. So, we're going to bring this back up on screen. And here we go. Good luck, everybody. Mrs. His and Hers Coins. Mrs. His and Hers, are you here? Mrs. His and Hers Coin says, I'm here. Awesome, awesome. Congratulations to Mrs. His and Hers Coins. Mrs. His and Hers Coins, you are the winner of our second End of Stream giveaway. Congratulations. So this is end of stream number two. Mrs. His and Hers. And this is 131, 21. So congratulations, that one's going to go to you. Mrs. His and Hers Coins, congrats. Okay. Do you guys want a couple bonus lots? If we got a few people around who are interested, we can do a couple more lots. Um, I got another 15, 20 minutes I can hang out if you guys want. SSF says yes. SSF says yes, yes. Okay. So, we will do a couple more. So we're going to go, let's see, let me pick something out. And we'll start with... Yeah, this is a nice one. We'll start out with this uh, piece dollar. This is going to be bonus lot number one. This is a 1924 uh, PCGS graded uh, MS63 piece dollar. Starting bid on this one, guys, is going to be $35. Once again, it's MS 64, or 63, sorry, MS 63, 1924, PCGS graded piece dollar, Adam Jam is in at 35, Tiffany Twisted at 40, $40 is the current high bid, Tiffany Twisted at 40. And uh, no, I, I don't want to gripe at you guys, but if you could, please wait until Silver Keys has time to type in and get it into the chat. Um, it's not a huge deal, but we just prefer if you do that. <clears throat> uh, Tiffany Twisted at 46. Tiffany Twisted is at $46. $46 is the high bid on this one. This is a 1924 PCGS graded MS63 piece dollar. $46 is the high bid to Tiffany Twisted. Tiffany Twisted at $46 going once. But um bum 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 bum. We will do two more things after this one. 
and then we'll see where we are time-wise. Bonus action. <laughs> Not bonus action. <laughs> oh, party pickle. Do 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 do. Boom, boom, boom. I Cirque is in at forty-seven. Forty-seven dollars is the current high bid. This is once again, guys. It's a nineteen twenty-four. It is a PCGS graded piece dollar. They graded it at MS sixty-three. The nineteen twenty-four. This one. She's got a, a thing on the cheek. And if that wasn't there, I think this one would have got a higher grade. This one's got a pretty good strike on it, but she does have that cheek deal. A little bit of spots on the back here, too. They're not a huge deal, though. They could have been conserved if it was necessary, but it was a nice strike on this coin. Lots of detail. So there we go, 1924, PCGS graded, MS-63, ICERC is at $49, $49 is the current high bid to ICERC. <clears throat> gotcha, John. Tiffany Twisted is out. Tiffany, thank you for your bids. I appreciate you very much. ICERC is at $49. $49 is the current high bid. And we'll start counting this one down. Going once. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, ba -dum, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Little Giants. It was a good movie. Going twice. $49 is the current high bid. Going twice. Cheek Rouge. Yeah, she's got a little something going on there. But, uh... Overall, it is still beautiful coin. $49. Last call. Last call and final warning. And we are sold, 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 sold. That one's going to iCirc for $49. Congratulations, iCirc. Let me get that written down. Do that right here. $49. And that was bonus number one. Congratulations. Do, 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 do. All right, we'll do two more items and then see where we're at. Next one up. This is a pair of uncirculated uh, silver certificates. They are consecutive. They are not star notes. Uh, but they are uncirculated. They're in beautiful condition. Like blazing uncirculated. Crisp, strong corners. These are nice bills. Uh, and they are two consecutive. 540, 540024, 572. <clears throat> 540, 
Uh, two very, very, very nice bills. Starting bid on this one's going to be five bucks. Five bucks for the pair is the starting bid. Bonus lot number two. And Super Garbage Man is in at ten. John McGuffin at twelve. His and hers at 21. John McGuffin at 22. I Cirque at 23. I Cirque is in at $23. Boom, boom, boom. This is for the pair, correct. That is correct, Party Pickle. You get both of them, they're consecutive notes. Uh, both of them. Like beautiful uncirculated, great color, great condition, silver certificates. They are uh, series 1957A, so they are newer cer silver certificates. Uh, John McGuffin at 27, Party Pickle at 28. But um, bum, bum, but um, bum, bum. And I see that I've gotten a couple emails. I'll check that in just a minute before I log off for the day. Um, ICERC is at 30. Uh, sorry, John, after $15, you do have to bid in $1 increments only. So I'm afraid I cannot accept that bid. The bid is still at $30 to ICERC. Okay. $30 is the current bid. I circ is at 30 and we are going once. And uh, once again, John, I, I do apologize for that, but that is one of the rules that we have for this auction. You can only bid in $1 increments after $15. Up to $15, we do accept 50 cent bids, but $1 increments after 15 $30 is the current high bid. I circ is at 30. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. do. John McGuffin at 31. Icerc is out. Icerc, thank you for your bids. Thank you all for your bids, everybody that bid on this item. And for everyone that bid today, thank you all very, very much. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. You are amazing, amazing people. And I appreciate you all very, very much. Last call. Last call, everybody. And sold. Sold, sold, sold. That one is going to John McGuffin at $31. Congratulations, John. And you're going to 
come to you. Congratulations. Okay, guys, this will be the last item of the day. Whether it will sell or not, I do not know. 31. And that was bonus lot number two. Okay, so this is going to be bonus lot number three. Uh, this one is a 1928 San Francisco 1928S uh, NGC graded piece dollar. It is MS60. It's graded MS60. And if anybody is interested, I can start this one at $180. $180 would be the starting price if anybody is interested. I figure I'll give you guys a shot at one of the better date ones. Uh, if it doesn't sell, that's okay. But if anybody's interested, then uh, $180 is where I would have to be at to start this one. I will show you guys this coin. It is a 1928 and we'll get there come on focus camera I need a trick to make it there we go almost come on gonna have to go to the microscope Oh, and of course, now it's that way. Well, let's try this then. Did that work? This is a 28S. It's a MS60. Strange grade. Two, two, two. And there we go. There's the back. Nineteen twenty eight San Francisco. So if anybody's interested, I can start it at one eighty. We'll give you guys, let's say, a minute and a half to think about it. And then uh, we can uh, move along if there's no other interest. And Papa Frank Guido is at $180. Papa Frank at $180. Do, do. This is a uh, a bit of a tougher. Um, I circ. It's. I I don't see exactly why they would grade it a sixty. Um, but I also see how there's an off chance that they could have graded it a U. So it's a strange grade on this one. Um, but I don't know where they came up with 60. I would think it would either be like AU58 if it's because of the wear. Or if it's because of the strike and whatnot, like a 62 or 61 at least. Um, it doesn't have a lot of like marks on it. Not an obnoxious amount anyhow. Um, so it's kind of a weird grade, but that is the case that it's in, an MS-60. Um, I think the back is, the back is a 63 in my opinion for sure. The front, maybe it has to do with the luster. It still it seems to have a lot of mint luster, but maybe it's not quite all there. I'm not really sure. 
But, uh, and peace dollars are hard. Peace dollars are hard to grade, so I am far from an expert, I'm afraid. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. No problem, John. John, I'm glad you found some stuff that you liked and uh, that it worked out for you. It's very cool. A little clear nail, nail polish. Oh, that was like uh, claws on a chalkboard. Going twice. Uh, Silver Keys says, going twice at 180 $180 is the current high bid. Papa Frank Guido is at $180, and we are going twice. Yeah, I'm absolutely, I'm definitely the type of person that, like, I always want people to know um, as much information as I can give them about any coin that I sell in an auction. And uh, I'm always happy to talk about it. I'm happy to give my opinion if asked. Um, I try to... <laughs> sometimes I give it anyhow, even if I'm not asked. But uh, I try to try to do the best I can to, to be fair, to help out, and stuff like that. And uh, we are sold. Sold, sold, sold. Papa Frank Guido at $180. Beautiful coin. This is a tougher date. And uh, congratulations, Papa Frank Guido. And that is going to do it for today, guys. We do have to get out of here. I have to uh, get some invoices written up and get some dinner before we go over to Big Flip's house tonight. Uh, Big Flip will be on in about an hour and 15 minutes. So check out Big Flip Coins. And I'll be over there later. And I think possibly in the meantime, uh, Ravenhawk maybe is on. <clears throat> so glad we're finished. I'm broke. Sorry about that, Papa Frank Guido. You got some beautiful coins, though. Hey, Sam CB. How's it going? Yep, we're just finishing for the day. Uh, we've already done the end of stream, and we did some bonus lots. Um... Uh, but we are finished for the day. Um, iCirc, when you do my invoice, remember my credit. iCirc, thank you for reminding me because I needed to write that down and I didn't. Appreciate that, iCirc. I will remember that. Uh, so, guys, thank you all for being here. I will be doing a coin chat on Tuesday. Um, I think I'll have a slab auction on Wednesday. At 6 p.m. Eastern, I have, boy, I have a lot of stuff, guys. Lots and lots of stuff if you guys are interested. CM Silver. Yes, CM Silver got uh, the cool thing today, the gold, 1815. That was pretty awesome gold coin. Okay, guys, I am out of here for tonight. The uh, invoices will start coming in about 15, 20 minutes. Keep an eye out, um, and we will see you very, very soon. Raven Hot Coins is on if anybody wants to check him out. Um, and again, Big Flip will be on at 9 p.m. Eastern. Check out Big Flip Coins tonight at 9. Big Flip, thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. Greg Lee, have a good night. Everybody, uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. To all my moderators, thank you all very, very much for your help. Silver Keys, as always, spectacular job. Um, I appreciate you very, very, very much. Siren, googly eyes. Siren, um, have an awesome night, Siren. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Watch out for my video. Ooh, Andrew, did you get your package today? Oh, no, it's tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay. I got excited for a minute. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, I am out of here. Until next time, everybody have a wonderful evening, and take care of yourselves.